long has passed. Hey guys, welcome back to Frostpunk. We are going to be doing some refugees now. And this is pretty much where the difficulty starts to spike up a bit. And uh, yeah, for for a good reason. So we'll go. So the safety generator was reserve, reserved for the wealthy. We seized it so we could build a city where everyone is equal. Uh, but, well, well pe people are equal. Well, we accept everyone who comes to seek shelter. All right, well, you can kind of get a good idea of what the, uh, what the scenario is. But yeah, we're going to be playing it on hard because, like I said, I don't want to... <laughs> this is this is one of the snares out of mind when I was thinking of uh, extreme difficulty. So, but uh, I'll introduce it when we get in there. So let's uh, let's hop in. All right. So we were condemned to die with the rest of the common folk when London London was destroyed, but we rose up. We commandeered the ships that were meant to carry the wealthy and to safety and sailed north. Here we found a generator and cleaned it for ourselves. Now we must gather all our people for in this new city before the lords arrive and rob us for our freedom again. We will never submit. So welcome to the lovely refugee scenario. So we will be pausing the game immediately as I explain all the problems that we have. Uh, save our people. After the ships we stole from the lords got stuck in the frozen ocean, we head out in the small groups for the generator. Most of the people are still on the trail. They have less than two weeks of supplies and the weather is getting worse every day. We must do everything we can to make sure they all get here to safety. Okay. So this is kind of uh, where the scenario kind of uh, kicks up a notch and it's a little bit difficult. First off, you're in a very small little zone here and there's going to be a lot of people. This is, I think, the scenario with the most amount of people. Uh, Winter home excluded, actually. I think winter home might have actually more. <laughs> but, um, but you get this, you get a small space to work with a lot of people that are going to come into the city. And uh, so this is not like the, 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 new, the new home scenario where like I have to go scout and I can choose to delay it. You can't do that here. <laughs> it's not a possibility. So they're going to come into your city no matter what. And if you want to save them all, it's going to be a little bit rough. It's going to be it's going to be hard to do, but it's definitely doable without a doubt. So uh, but the build order is going to change a little bit, even though there's a lot of little, little bit overpowered abilities that you see me having, um, like the, the the extended shifts and all the fun stuff. There's going to be some variance in what we're going to do. So, so yeah, without further ado, uh, so that's good. That's the first thing is that we're going to get a lot of people coming in. Uh, that's that's the first problem. The second problem, as you've noticed, is my resources are really bad exceptionally bad so i got i got coal so coal that's enough for like a day or two of the generator running so that that one's okay uh you got some wood you got some steel also you don't have any wood steel or, or steam cores steam cores not that important for the scenario i i don't feel that automatons are worth going to because steel is actually a premium in this scenario and you need it for a lot of things it's specifically short for you know pretty good reasons so automatons we will likely not be doing at all uh, we get 25 raw food, and that raw food is not gonna last. Uh, I will I will say that now. Uh, we will probably convert that over to regular food, I think, because I always get this. I always get the scenario when I make the cookhouse. They always flip in like <laughs> they always they always eat the raw food, and I'm always mad about that. So because this is this should be a hundred rations is what it should be, but then they start eating raw, raw, raw food, and then I get mad kind of thing. So. We have a couple of things we, we need to make on the first day, uh, and it's it's going to be a bit rough. It's going to be a bit rough. This this the scenario doesn't also uh, basically bullshit around. It does give you purpose immediately. So if you want to go for house of prayers or neighborhood watch right, uh, right, right away, you could. You although you shouldn't because you should probably be going for something like um, child labor or something to start with. But to actually, on that note, to show you, uh, this is the third problem. You have a, you have a really awkward distribution of people. And if you do not put those children to work, uh, this is pretty bad. Because <laughs> that's like, this is over like, this is almost 50% of your workforce. Uh, I'd say like, sorry, it's not 50%, obviously like 20 plus eight to 28. It's like, I don't know, like 30, 40% somewhere around there. Uh, that's people that aren't collecting things or doing anything. And like I've kind of said, the snowballing effect really matters in this game. Uh, no pun intended, uh, because it's like if they're just sitting there, just twiddling their thumbs when they could be collecting wood or something, uh, it's it's really important. It's really really important to get them to do something. So that's something to to keep in mind. If you're not convinced by child labor being like the most overpowered thing, this is actually the scenario that's going to convince you right away. So we're going to go tap right into that safe jobs. It won't be a typical order of laws, but we will kind of be doing it. 
uh, the, the next thing that's going to be a major problem is we're going to actually have a major temperature drop really fast. So it's it comes on like I think like day six or something, but it's a major drop where nothing that's not in the generator uh, area will be safe to work in. It's like it's a significant drop and it's really, 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 <laughs> really difficult to deal with. So those are kind of the, the main kind of uh, things that we're kind of dealing with at the moment. So. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to throw some people on to, to wood. So I'm going to start with these two. So I use the ones over here because we're going to have another one that's basically gathering the wood over there as well. And let's see. And I'm going to put the rest of the people onto steel, and that should be it. So I don't like to... Be, like, even though I could get the resources to make, like, a workshop throughout the day, I will not be doing that <laughs> at all. We we won't be we won't be taking people off. We need the as much uh, resources as we humanly can, and we're gonna wait for about I think about twenty steel is what we're gonna kind of work towards. We're gonna try and get that, and then we're gonna put them onto some wood after that. Twenty is about the magic number. All right, so take them off and put them onto wood instead. I'll just divide them up. There you go. I don't know if that actually matters. It's like 53. Ah, uh, yeah, it does the math on it. So it's fine. Alright, so at about, I guess like 17, because they, they end at 18, we'll, we'll turn on the generator and then we'll, uh, we'll see what we want to do. There we go. Okay. So let them finish off their day. So this temperature drop is pretty significant because, where's it at? The, the temperature being chilly matters a great deal, actually. So when that temperature goes down by one, then they start to really fall ill. And we don't have infrastructure, or anything for that matter, so it, it matters a lot. So we can start taking people off of everything, and I'll re reassign them kind of when we're done here. So we have enough coal to last a day, so that's not a problem. That's not going to be a huge concern. So I'm going to go to Gathering Post. We will throw one over here. So again, you can, can't get all of them, but we do want to gather all these resources, so... And I can get one up here to get those. The last one is this one, I think. Oh, I guess that's fine. I wasn't sure if that was like... Oh, it's a little bit fatter than it should be. I don't know. <laughs> part, of, part of me is always like, I, I don't want to have it do this, so... Where's the gathering post? No, nope, that's too fat. I always want to I always want to efficiently fit it in there, you know? I can't help myself. I always want to put it in, so I just throw that that one you don't actually lose any wood for doing that because they haven't placed it yet because you get a refund on it right away so i don't know maybe i'll just leave it be whatever fine we'll just leave it all right we're gonna gather that and i'm also gonna throw it on the workshop as well so my god i can't stand that actually never mind i, I changed my mind <laughs> just like i just saw how big how fat that thing was i'm like that's ridiculous dude that's that is ridiculous what is that all right one second of, of course, you can't do this as much on extreme, but I really... Dude, the minute I look at, like, how fat that thing is... Okay, now it's a lot better. Alright, where's the gathering post? Oh my god, look at... Look, see, look, look look what it does. It's, uh... It taunts me like so. It knows what I want. And I want to really... Oh, that's too... Oops, don't put it down there. That's that's not the place to put it. Alright, well, we'll still... We'll figure this out. Is there, like, a hotkey to, like, open up roads or no? You know, I've ne I never actually looked at that. If I was like a pro gamer, I would probably use the hotkey associated with it. Okay, there is not a hotkey for it. You can press B to open this faster, but that's it. I, or, uh, if only you could. Uh, I would like hotkeys for that. That would that'd make things a lot easier. But anyways, <laughs> I, had to, I had to check. So that's it. We get three three work workplaces, and then we get the workshop right there, and then that's it. So that's what we're going to do. And again, we're doing a scenario where we're going to try and be as good as possible with, with all this stuff. So... Are you going to get a scenario of, or no roof over your heads? I'm not sure if I can provide shelter to, to people, now that I think about it, but we could try. I <laughs> I don't think I can I can fulfill that. I'm trying to think here. No, I'm going to say not right now. Discontent will rise, but not by a significant amount. It's, it's not worth it to do. Because I'm not sure if I can even provide that much. Now... Keep in mind on survivor difficulty, and also on that note, I just realized that we need to have a medical post as well. So on survivor difficulty, people who are homeless have a chance to just die. 
So that's gonna be a problem if you're playing Survivor that you need to get the houses as soon as possible. And you might have to do a couple of restarts uh, depending upon how bad your luck is, but uh, maybe it, maybe you're not as stingy upon people dying as much as I am. So we will need beacon really, really fast. However, we also really need wood really, really fast. I'm gonna actually go for sawmill first. This is more of the strat, I think, if you go for Survivor and I'll be doing that at least for now because it is really important to get that actually out. So with that, I'll clean up some of these uh, streets as well. Let's see, there you go. You know, I could never do anything with this whole, like this this little like ledge here, even though I'm probably gonna make the lumber mill right over down there. It's like, it's like two free wood to me, even though like we're gonna kind of probably waste it, I don't know. We'll just, we'll just do it like that. Oh yeah, I never really did show off what all the uh, materials were on this map. Uh, so we got two steel uh, locations right here. Steel, very important on the stern, like I've kind of probably been saying. Because we don't get a lot of it. You don't get a lot of it from uh, from events or anything like that. So Or like scouting locations. And you need it for homes, you need it for research, you need it for everything. So this is going to be one of the top priorities for us is to like stockpile a lot of steel. We get one wall drill. We get two outposts. And after that, it's just one one place of coal and two places of coal. We won't be going for these. I feel that child labor makes the thumpers like really really worthwhile. So I don't I don't really bother with that at all. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put workers in the outside instead of being in the ring there. Uh, we can do a couple children there too. Cause the kids will be over here too. There you go. I think the remainder I'll put into something else. Uh, do we need more wood after this? I guess we need more wood. Because we're going to try and make a bunch of houses, but I, I wasn't confident enough to sign the law for it, so... So with that, we're going to do... Should I do emergency shift, or should I do food first? I Every time, I always have some idiot that eats a bunch of food. One second, how much wood do I have? I actually have enough wood, too. Okay, I know what I know what I'm gonna do here. I know how I'm gonna do this. Okay, this is a bit of a deviation from from my build. Uh, yeah, okay. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do food additives, and then I'm gonna do a birds and she shift after. Even though I don't think this is like the the optimal play, I think emergency shift is better to get that research going. But I think I think we're not gonna have the sawmill on the first day. I think there's no way we get that. So we're gonna do food additives. I may be regretting my, my decision right now. It's simply because I know what's coming and it's uh, not going to be pretty. Sec. I, I need to get them to build that. I need to... One sec. There you go. And then... Shrink that one a bit. Okay, we're good. We're going to turn it into all the stuff into food. That's what we're going to do. Alright, so we go into sawmill meals. Now... I kind of, I kind of been doing soup the entire time. This, and I don't think honestly, uh, food ad is as bad as people say it is. I'm, I'm doing this definitely in this scenario because we actually really do need the food. We super need the food at least early on. But people are gonna fall ill a, 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 a bit more often, which may overwhelm our medical <laughs> departments uh, uh, as well. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see. It should be okay. We, it, it should be fine. I don't know. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna definitely, I'm gonna definitely try this path. I kind of been saying it's, it's probably not as bad as people say it is, and I still will stand by that. So, all right. And so all the food has been converted. We will move these guys back to wood. And it's the last day that you can have anybody working on temperature of this level, and that's it. So we're gonna let the sawmill go. Well, well, well. Look who's here. So notice the count of people that are here. This is like, I don't know, like 30 people, right? And uh, no, it was actually 15, so. <laughs> so your eyes did deceive you, it is 15 people. Uh, and so instead of memeing right now, I should probably be putting them onto uh, actual resources now, so. So they're gonna say things, our first refugees. The first group is finally here. We are relieved to learn that the trail is still negotiable. They found, they saw another group behind them who will arri should arrive soon. Okay, so this is part of that whole thing I was just talking about where people are just gonna be coming in, coming in. It's gonna be really annoying, you know? But at least we have food now, so. At least we have food. But we unfortunately only got workers, so we don't get any more in terms of the, uh, the kind of worker efficiency here, which is kind of lame, but you know, what are you gonna do? 
what you're gonna do. Alright, we did not finish sawmills, but we're gonna do a 24 hour shift for that. So we need a beacon, yep, yeah. oh, they want to talk to me, they're frightened, sorry, I didn't read that out, but they, they want the beacon right now, so to start off, so this is the disadvantage of not doing 24 hour shifts, is we don't get that right away, but we can start doing some tents and stuff. And we're going to do it outside the city, uh, because I kind of want the steam vent too, but maybe we should just make it the next day. I think I'm just going to wait. Yeah, I don't, think, I don't think there's a reason to do it right now. We're just we're just stockpiling. So now we're gonna do emergency shift, and we're obviously gonna use that emergency shift, shift right away on this uh, lovely work workshop here. So this is where I was kind of saying I was gonna throw it down. It was right there. So we're not actually gonna make coal mines because sumpers are too strong. So we're not gonna bother with that. Uh, let's see. We'll do we'll do that. Now the one of the weird things is you can't get a you can't get a thing in here, I think, can you? Oh you actually can. Kick ass. Wow, you can you can actually do that. I, mean, <laughs> I didn't realize you could actually throw it in the middle of that, so. So we'll do that, and what I'll also do is I'll throw in a hunter's hut as well. And also I need to get the next research going. So, very important, we need to do the beacon right away. We need to do the beacon pronto, my friends. Actually, is this uh, far enough up here? One second. Hunter's hut. Yeah, it's... Uh, I'm just thinking of, like, how many I can put up here, so... Oh, yeah, we can do that. There you go. Put a little higher up, and that's it. So we actually have to take... Because of that temperature drop, we now have to take everybody off of any kind of... Uh, essentially, they need shelter now uh, to work on these things. Because if they don't have the shelter, they're going to be very, very pissed off. And I'll probably overdrive it tonight, because I didn't overdrive it the last night. Oh, we can get some people on that. Let's see. I will take people off of this and put them onto there. Okay, so we have enough food coming in, I hope, for now. You can see that that food did not last very long at all, so... But we don't have a lot of workers. Like, even if you have two hunter's huts, that's like... Half your workforce that's essentially doing this. It's like, it's pretty crazy. So that is going to finish here. Actually, we do need that steel now I think about it. Alright, we're, we're going to do a little more there. Alright, we can toss that down. Alright, so tech-wise, we do have that now, but we have to wait for the steel to come in for it. And do we have some raw food? We They're just still making it. I will do that to go with it. So we have now... We, we actually only need one guy to do it. So we now have a uh, sawmill going, which will help with our production of everything, and then... Oh, yes. So, the next thing to do here is, like I said, we do need Hunter's gear. I need the steam hub to actually heat the, the home, so we're gonna do that next, actually. I don't know how bad this, this coal is gonna be. I might shut off the generator, actually. Because just to save on the coal <laughs> that we're, we're we're spending here, so because everybody is working in a building at this point, so let's let's let's, let's let them keep doing that, and we're gonna go extended shifts with hear everything. Me, me. New law in the, city. the only people not in a in a building right now are uh, yeah. All right, we can get that one too. There you go. I'll turn on the generator again in a sec here. Okay, it's back on. Now this one might be kind of rough, but let's see. I'm trying to kind of give it a little bit of a heat zone here. Actually, we don't really know what it is until the uh, thing is done here. Actually, let's just let's just ha not have it do that. Is everything on a 24 hour shift? Let's see, just double check. All right, we got another lovely group here. Another group arrives. We're relieved to find a sea of center city. Here we can be free at last. We have to toil like slaves for a piece of bread. And we can get them right now to go work on the beacon because that's uh, that's the next big priority for us. And you can actually hear the people starting to get pissed because of the lack of shelter. But uh, yeah, I'm thinking of either Hunter's Hut or something else, but we definitely do need a uh, gathering post here though. 
Because we need to start gathering this coal, like, immediately. And you see it's already, like, chilly here. And there's that big temperature drop I was talking about. There is no way anything outside of, like, these the, the buildings that I currently have will actually ever survive any of that. So we do have to be very cautious about that. <laughs> All right. Now on our people, we'll be able to survey the uh, the ice barrens that surround us in Frostland. Okay, so we now can see the abandoned camp that's over there. Uh, so to start us off, what we're going to do... We do have four people that are sick, so I'm gonna put. Okay, it's just engineers that are that are um, available. So, Michael Ash. He's in the hunter's hut. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put throw these two guys out. And I don't know where the last guy is. Uh, this guy doesn't. That's one of the ones that took off. Walter Sever. Let's see. He's in the gathering post. This would be. This is a child, so I can't actually take him out anyways. So that's fine. I'm gonna take all the workers out there. Uh, oh, actually no, I need to not do that. So I, they should be the only ones that are sick right now. Sorry, I, I need to double check that. He's the he's a child, yeah. And I have how many people available? I need one more. Okay. So we're gonna send them on a little adventure. <laughs> Same old strategy. Get them, get them, go out. Get them, go do something else. And that should be good. So we can now put full engineers inside this building as well. I will also throw on the overdrive too. So last but not least, did our steam vent research finish? No, it didn't. That is rather unfortunate. That was so close too. I want to make the houses now. I guess I'll just have to do it and just play it by ear, I guess. That's a... Uh, not amusing. I may have to reboot do this house, but I didn't I didn't anticipate this uh, occurring. So, because what we need to do is I, I like to make it right beside this lovely little little guy here. So, one second, I'm gonna actually destroy this guy. I'm trying to give it a little bit more, but I, I like to make it right beside the uh, the where the well drill will be, uh, because if, if I put it right beside, I can heat that too for when the uh, night gets really bad. Two, three. Okay, let's try that out. All right, that's like six houses. I'm trying. To, I'm trying to make use of their time, kind of for this thing. I don't want to overdrive it again. So, and then I gotta go throw them on, because the next day I have to get them to go do their thing. I have to. I have to get them to to hopefully uh, get some coal tomorrow. So that definitely needs to be a. Oh, they're going to go build an in-treatment. Even though the coal is uh, fairly important, they're uh, going to dick around, I guess. Alright, next one we need to do is we seriously do need to go into... Uh, essentially, the, the down path here, we, get, we need to get overcrowding ASAP. I'm just going to do sustained life, just because uh, I, don't really, I don't really mind it. I don't think I, I'm going to have any gravely ill. So... We're going to do that intentionally. Let's see tech. We don't have enough steel for that right now, but we'll get it uh, a little bit later. I guess we didn't have enough steel for it anyways. It didn't even really matter. Uh, Alright, so what should we throw on now? So, let's see. Uh, Coal Thumper would be good. Steelworks would be good. We kind of do need to go... Let's, let's do Hunter's Gear, because we actually need the food more than anything right now. So, Hangman Hill or Broken Tree. We will uh, take the resources. So, we found scraps from a diary amongst the remains of the camp. Today we finished building the generator for our lords. Now we can set, uh, set out for London and bring our families here to safety, leads the, uh, leads the rash, uh, last generator. So the people who built the generators didn't exactly get to benefit from them uh, a whole lot. That's a recurring theme in this, actually. Okay, he's making his food. Oh, we can turn off the overdrive now. So that, that temperature drop is absolutely brutal, and it will be brutal, so we do have to kind of make something about that at, the, at some point. All right, so let's get the steam hub going here. So I need to kind of hit the middle of the, the the little forestry icon. I think I have to be this close for it to work, which is ha rather unfortunate, but that's kind of the way it goes. Uh, I think I could get like three in here though, and that wouldn't be an issue. I'll wait for the rest of them though. Child injured at work, sure, you can have a day off, I don't care. <laughs> I don't think one child is going to make the difference, except when it does. And uh, we'll probably have to do coal thumpers after this, and probably the steel as well. 
I also need to get some more people, because that's not enough uh, people on the hunter set. So they're going to complain about cold uh, cold homes. You cannot cold, you cannot heat them because when you get to this point, it's going to be it's going to get even colder. So don't ever address that because you're just going to screw yourself. And probably we're at the point where I can actually go look at throwing in another workshop because one of the groups that's coming in will have more engineers, so we can start to speed that along. Uh, let's see. I would really like it to be a lot, a lot tighter than that one. He says. Oh, I guess you really can, can you? Yeah, I guess I'll, I'll just, I'll just put both workshops up. I don't, I don't really care. We are going to have a slight problem with coal, aren't we? Huh? We may not, we may not have a generator in a bit. <laughs> This is uh, yeah, because they were working the, at the beginning of the last day, so I don't want to I don't want to overtime them, so they're just gonna have to deal with uh, you know, just turn off this then. Oh yeah, that's the reason. It's because of uh, it, it, the I, I added a steam hub to this, so that's uh, rather unfortunate. Oh yeah, so the scout route I'm taking is actually very intentional. I didn't mention this part. So when you're doing this, your initial scout route, and you need your food, right? You're doing a C. That's what you're gonna be doing. You're doing a C. So do that uh, on purpose, and you will definitely get some food uh, at the end of that. So definitely do that. Very, very important. And we, yeah, so now that we have, uh, we got some more engineers and we got some more uh, children to go with it. Several families have reached our city. Unfortunately, some of their children got lost near the trail bend. They're distraught and begging to help our, their kids. So that just spawns a location over here to go grab uh, the children. Um, you don't need to wait. Uh, you don't need to get that right away because you have 11 days to do it. So don't worry too much about it. The thing we need to do though is we need to divert people from and more into more into the workers' workshops at the moment. So put the kids into there. All right, and you can see that we now have a lot more engineers to work with now. But we we are definitely going to need them. So all right, broken tree. Our search hasn't uncovered anything of value, but we may be able to uh, we may be able to reach some promising location this beer old storehouse or damaged snowcat so we're going to the old storehouse there is by the way a little bit of variation in the uh, events that you do get uh, or, or the locations that happen so it, just keep that in mind all right there goes the generator but there that's it we can't do much about that and we got our overcrowding which is what i wanted i'm thinking about putting down another place for sick because we actually will probably need that Dang. Constantly short on, uh... <laughs> I, I, I would like to... One sec, can I just, like... No, I can't do that. I have a feeling I'm gonna I'm gonna hate this in a bit, because, yeah. I can't really get it to go any better than this, so... We're just, like, gonna have to deal with that. Alright. Put them in here. We probably don't need that last workshop, but we're gonna keep it for now. Just because, why not? All right, so protective mother refused to let her daughter go to work. Come on, the generator is literally off. Come on, fine, have a day off. I don't care. <laughs> Generator's off. It's a perfect time to to bring it to <laughs> have her kids stay at home. But you see how tight it is, even with all this uh, stuff I have going on right now. So yeah, generator is totally off now. But just keep it off. <laughs> all right, so we got 150 uh, wood to work with. So, Coal Thumper, important. Steelworks, also important. Uh, I kind of want to do both before I head up that tree. I'm just thinking here to what to do. How many t days do we have? We have effectively one full day, and then we have to then overdrive the generator for this when we kind of get to that point. I would rather have the Coal Thumper and the Steelworks and then do drawing boards. But it will be really, really rough. Because that's like 12 hours here. We'll do it. I do, need to, I do need to have more people on that, on this, on this building though, for sure. How many uh, sick do we have? Just one? Mm, we could probably make that work. So wood crates depleted. So this guy's completely done. All right, we can start shuffling people around because it just went away. All right, just puts people onto various buildings. 
But yeah, as soon as that temp that temperature hits, uh, there is no way we can essentially uh, have the rest of those buildings uh, kind of go. I can put one more last guy into there. So the engineers are all into engineering buildings, essentially. Except for that them over here, which is fine. We can put the kids over into that one. I'm going to go build, but they're but they're kids. All right, there is some food and raw food. This is not actually the part where we're, we're trying to go to, but it's remains of a campfire remain hidden inside. Uh, stacks of frozen fish. So this gave us, uh, after searching it, we found records of shipments from fisheries on the lake. Some pages have been ripped out. The last uh, page says, uh, we've been abandoned. We will gather food, uh, sorry, gather men and head out to the main camp before we run out of fish and fuel. So we grabbed some raw, raw food and some wood too. Both pretty good. Uh, so you get the canning workshop and the fishing village. We're actually going to the canning workshop. That's the one we want, I believe. That's kind of weird that it spawned over here, but that's the one we want. This is one of those variations in the map that, that does kind of throw you through a loop, I guess. But the canning workshop is what we wanted. And we got two more houses, but they're not building them. Go figure. They have one job and they're not doing it. Alright. So we'll throw in also the steelworks to go with it, because like I said, we kind of need that. And we have the two thumpers to go with it. Alright, so now we have enough of everything. I want to go get another hunter's hut going. Because I see Gravely starving here at this point. Alright, so people are hungry. We have three days to feed everyone. We'll be able to do that, I assure you, so we're going to do that one. If we don't do that, then we we have another problem, so. Alright, so heating is off. Alright, oh, yes, we need to... I forgot that even turned off. I absolutely forgot. Alright, we're going to go get that going. So, yeah, the, day, the days are going to be rough, let's just say that. So, wherever, pe wherever workers are, I'm going to take them all off, and I'm going to try to get as many of them onto whatever else I need to do at the moment. There we go. But, like, the worker, it's it's rough, like, the, the amount of workers you have. I have 35 workers. Oh, yeah. Right, we sent, we sent uh, four, some of them count as being out, because they're, they're over on the, uh, what's it called? They're, they're on the scouting expedition, so you can only really support this much uh, for it right now. And I think at the moment now, we can actually just go into the uh, both the medical workplaces, so... So I built it. There you go. Steel, raw food, and food rations. This uh, workshop canned, uh, canned the, <laughs> the fish caught in the lake. The double doors of the main entrance are wide open, and the surrounding buildings have been burned down. We, caught a, we found a large car cargo sled fully loaded with food in the yard. It must have been standing in a deep puddle of meltwater when the sudden wave of frost hit, leaving it stuck in the hard ice. There you go. You have 425 food rations. That will for sure solve our, our immediate food problems. Send them right back to the city. So the fishing village is, by the way, one of the outposts you can do. We are not at the tech where we can actually do the outpost, so you can just leave that uh, be. And so in 20 hours, we will solve all our food problems. And I'm going to put some more onto here. That should be good. We can also overdrive this. But we, we really need the overdrive for next night, to be to be fair, so. So we may not need this sawmill anymore. We may have to just, like, leave that be now, so. Alright. So with that being said, we have the, we have the hunter's gear. We have the coal thumper. Uh... Essentially, at this point, the only thing to go into is now drawing boards. We're rushing for that uh, generator power upgrade because the next day we will not last uh, if we don't do that. So, and there you go, all the food went in. And that's it. So, double rations for kids. Absolutely, never do this. <laughs> so, I kind of learned it from the first one, uh, and, uh, and I'm just like, yeah, no, uh, no, we can't afford it. Whatever, get injured, kids. Go play Minecraft. That's it. And so we're, we're pretty much in a more solid uh, kind of place now. And it's one of those scenarios where if you last through the first 10 days, I think the rest of the scenario is pretty easy. We only have two vacant beds and we have incoming 15 workers uh, at, the, at that point. But yeah, we'll put them to work immediately. All right, this one's done. Cool. Kids are out. All right, so we've done overcrowding and we've done extended shift, the most two most overpowered ones. Uh, so at this point now, it's just about uh, getting corpse disposal going. And uh, so we're gonna dig ourselves a snow pit and do organ transplants to get those, uh, get people out of, get 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 people out a lot faster. 
I do need to put throw it down here somewhere though. I'll just put it over here. That's okay. Actually, I won't put it up yet. Because that we're gonna have these people come in and I'm gonna just throw them onto buildings. End of shift. Go rest all Let's see. Put them onto here, that's it. Alright, another group arrives. More than a dozen of people have reached the city looking awe, around in awe. The general is truly a wonder to think the lords want to keep this place to themselves. I see, we're, we're, we're sensing some resentment for these uh, so-called lords. So. Drawing boards have been has been finished. We will do a generator power upgrade now. But that will take a little bit to do. But yeah, you can see with that temperature drop, most things are going to stop working. <laughs> so... That's gonna be uh, the the theme of the uh, today's episode. I'm gonna go tell that tell you that temperature drops suck. All right, we're gonna put a nice little coal thumper set up here and give it two gathering posts as well. And also throw it on the steam hub because obviously we need that now. Okay, cool. So we got that, and we can go throw it down. This should be good enough as well for two more tents as well. And we're starting to reach the limit of this one as well. We can't really fit much more over here. I can fit like one more place here and then we gotta make another steam hub. I'm not sure how much tent that's gonna be. It's like 30 people worth, so. And there's only like 13, yeah, so that's enough for the rest of them. So it's kind of, it kind of works out. It's, it's quite nice in that regard, so. We kind of get enough just to make it all work. And uh, I think at this point the sawmill is not gonna be very useful to us anymore. So we need to hope that these guys are going to do that. So there we go. We got the wood. We got some steel. We got some raw food. We got some food rations. And the next problem is going to be incoming, which is uh, the significant cold, uh, temperature drop, which you're going to love. It's going to be fantastic. So let's go back to the abandoned camp. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do a reverse C. So we were just looking for the canning workshop before, and it's always sort of in this direction here. It's usually around here, but yeah, it does do that. Now the other direction should have some coal. And that's a maybe, because like I said, it, it does, I think this scenario varies between two kinds of, uh, I'm going to put this to working hours. It, it, it varies it slightly. We'll just go with that. Uh, we don't need steel that badly right now. But I'm going to throw the children into that. So the temperature drop is actually too significant now that we actually have to, both the gathering posts, we have to turn off. Because even though there's a little bit left in it, and also this sawmill is also just as bad. It's just, yeah, it's not good. We have to we have to take that out, so. Alright, we can do a little bit of people in there. Working. So we can go to the Hangman Hill now. We can go check that out. Is there any workers in any other place that I should remove them from? I don't know. I don't see anybody else. We still we still are pretty bad for the the sick people too. That's the other thing. Hungry fed. Most of the hungry have had a meal and are somewhat satisfied for the, uh, the time being. Hope rises. Okay. Easy bonus to our hope. Wrap up well. The frost is here. So with that, the medical posts no longer actually work anymore. So we actually have to turn on the generator now. This was the one I was hoping they would actually finish. I don't know why they didn't finish this. I'm just going to take people off of this, because they really need them to work on this. What are you doing right now? Going to go build. Build what? There's nothing else to build here. I don't know what they're doing right now, but they're basically screwing my scenario. Alright, sick recover faster. Very important. Let's go get that. What are they building? I don't understand. Oh, that. Okay, no, no. Don't do that anymore. We really need the people to be working on this facility. How does it not? What? Where, where are all the workers at? I need that. I need that more than food at this point. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna kid, kid around here. Going to rest. Going to go dismantle. What are you dismantling? Stop that. They're they're trolling me right now. So yeah, some of them are gonna go. Dis dismantle stuff. Okay. I I I guess I can't get it over fifty percent efficiency. What can I say? I really need the thumper to, to work right now because uh, yeah, it's a uh, it's a bit of a tight one. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, 
but we do need these to be off because there's no way they will they, they they do not have an insulation for it but there we now have the second generator power but we can't use that right now because of the fact that we didn't have enough coal for it so uh go figure you know what I might do I might take some people out of this right here and I'm gonna put them into oh my god they keep they'd love to dismantle that building okay now it's at a hundred percent that's what I wanted Yeah, because that's a bit of a rough one. What we could do, we could keep the overdrive on for one night, uh, kind of a thing, is what we can do. Okay, they they finally did their thing. They finally did it. Despite the fact I had to basically fight with them a little bit on that. They kind of disagreed with that. We can get a bit more wood here. There we are. Alright, so my lovely guys here. Now, this one's a funny one. But we'll, we'll, I'll, I'll explain this one, actually, because this is a really funny event. Uh, we cut the frozen body down and gently lower it to the ground. There's a tool chest uh, at the base of the tree. So there's a single tree here. The chest we found contains the engineer's tools and death note. You lured me here with promises, kept me in the dark, told my wife I died. You, you're beneath contempt. I hope you enjoyed my farewell gift. It seems that people, uh, the people it was intended for never read the note. And we can only hope that we don't become recipients of what gift he left for them. So there's rock formation and supply depot. So we can bury the poor man with his tools, but we can also bury the man and take his tools. It's allegedly um, cursed, but I, and I've looked online a lot uh, of like, if there's a thing, cause I've had things happen that I think is related to this curse. Uh, primarily I've had outpost team die when they get to like the, the location, right? And I don't know what the curse is. <laughs> I don't really understand it, but that it might be cursed. I think there's something deeper to it, but it also might just be something that you're supposed to go look at this and you're like, oh my God, like we're in a survival situation. We kind of want this, but I'm like, Ugh. yeah, what do you do? So we'll take his tools and we'll see if anyone dies. I don't think anyone will die, but we'll see. Oh, I need to, I need to also make the, the, the place for the dead where they at. I, I don't know if it does. I seriously don't. I want to, I want to give you guys a good answer to that one, but I actually just don't have a good answer to it. So. It just, uh, it's kind of rough. <laughs> it's kind of rough. Oh yeah, we have like four children. We don't, we can't put them anywhere though, because they can't work in any building, so. We also are lacking in a single housing, so we can get that one over here. We have another one coming in, so we're going to have to start making another place for the children to go or whatever, so. So we got another one, another group of rides. So this group was caught in a vicious blizzard. Blizzard led where a beacon led them safely through the worst fit. I see. Okay. So we're doing pretty good there. The sick has gone down as well, which is good. We have plenty of food, because, like I said, that's why we went to the canning workshop. That was the important part. Snow pit is ready. We can now dispose of corpses, but that doesn't mean where people, uh, people are more content or hopeful. Dumping our dead in the snow is nothing to be proud of. So you can see we have no bodies right now. We'll definitely check that at the end as well to make sure it kind of stays that way. So we have both the steelworks going. We have the coal thumper, and, and this should be good enough for our coal needs, at least for the time being. I might throw on the generator to, to level two, though. But we'll do that just for the night because that will keep the temperature going pretty good. So we, we should have enough coal now. If I actually look at our consumption, yeah. So we're, 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 we're good now. <laughs> Even though, like, it was the it was the trolling consumption, that's what it, or, or like the efficiency, because they were like not working or something. I don't know what they were doing. But yeah, I want to do a wall drill after this, and we're gonna also do another place for them to kind of hang out at. So I'll uh, probably throw down another one here. Let's see. So again, we we're we're doing this on purpose. We're kind of keeping them out outside of the. Uh, we're keeping them outside of the generator zone, because why, why, why would we put them in the generator zone? And we could put better buildings into it, so. All right. So we got a rock formation. Our search hasn't uh, uncovered anything of value, but we were a we may be able to reach some promising locations for your frozen forest and rock slide. Okay, I think I've, I think I've rolled the unlucky one. Uh, so sometimes you'd get a coal mine. This one, you get a frozen forest with it, so. I think I, the, the coal mine would have been here, or at least of somewhere around here. It, like I said, there's a bit of randomization, but that's why I kind of try and go here. But luckily, I have the coal thumper, so we're actually pretty good now. It's gonna complain. Okay, turn off overdrive. 
Why is it? Oh, right, because I have this here. That's why. All right, I'll just throw down tents first, and then, uh... Right, we don't have enough to make this actually work right now. Whoops. That was weird. I guess I have to start from the other side. So we can't actually support two of these right now, so we're gonna have to do something about that in a bit. I was really hoping I'd find the other one, but we'll see. Actually, I could go put another gathering post down here. I don't know, is it worth it to do this? I don't think it is. We, we only have to wait for that temperature drop. That's all we have to wait for. That's all we're waiting for at this point. I, I just figured I'd put this down to prepare for the people that are going to come in. And then turn this guy off. See, now, now it should be fine, right? Yeah, it's like, it's, it's on par. Wall drill finished. All right, so that sawmill can probably go get deconstructed now. We actually don't need that anymore. Uh, so the char, the, ironically, the charcoal kill it is actually a lot more worthwhile because we, we're gonna. I think we're getting the wood uh, to go with us. So uh, we can have uh, medical post upgrade. Not the worst idea. Like I said, we're not doing generator. We're not doing range upgrades. We don't really need heaters. Uh, more scouts wouldn't be the worst thing to do. Actually, we we need to go out there and get some more. My hope is that they're not going to live in those conditions when I make them. And these are all good, right? Yeah. One second, let me go dismiss a, two children here and put in the... Uh... Actually, I have more children over here, don't I? Going to go eat. Oh, they're useless. Because you can, you, can you can shuffle some people around. That temperature, like, raising will be basically our, the kind of the godsend of this mission. <laughs> it's only going up by one level, but it's still good. So here we go. Remarkably still free, we should send an outpost team here and start processing trees for wood. So there you go. Blown away. The frozen trees are we're driving, um, are swaying the driving wind. Our lumberjacks will, ha will have to work hard to keep warm. It seems that the wind is responsible for keeping the ground bare. The terrain channels, um, the terrain channels the wind in such a way where it constantly blows the snow away. Interesting. Take resources. So that's our, that's our second outpost. We get two outposts and this is the first one is the fishing village that I was showing off before. And then this is the other one. Um, so this is, uh, I would say rather unlucky, uh, because we don't, the, the coal is easier to work with, but we can do kill-ins. Like I said, I kind of said I would try them, uh, in another one. So yeah, if we have it, we have it. So, you know, we might as well. All right, so with that being said, I will probably go into the next level of drafting machines, uh, except I need wood for that. Right. Let's go throw that down, then wall drill. We'll do something simpler then first, like faster gathering. So that, that would be where our, our lovely steam cores are going. So we just used it. They're a necessary component. We understand. Understand entirely. Alright, so with that I'll I'll overdrive it for the last night, just because then we will get the least amount of sick that we could possibly get. Alright, adaption. So we've just finished organ transplants. Uh with that being done, we can either go into the fighting arena to start dealing with discontent, but as well, order is also very good at dealing with discontent, so probably we're just gonna go down the um, order tree now. So here's our lovely neighborhood watch. So like I said, um the last time we did faith and the only reason i don't like faith is because like i said there's that required death some guys said it was it was stronger than order in some ways but i really do like order uh, but i'll show you i'll show you kind of what i do for it um so it's better when you have more people i'd say but I, i'll also say this new home and faith i think and this is what 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 happened was i think hope is what brings people out of the new londoners so that's why i kind of if you remember i, I kind of was awestruck that that I actually dealt with the lender as much faster than I'm used to, and because usually I do order. Order is just, they do have some hope stuff, but they're better at discontent kind of things, and they have some nice little efficiency things that we'll get into. So we're gonna build a nice new building, the Watchtower. They raise hope, uh, increase of hope living nearby, but we have to build two Watchtowers. So I can go sign that right now. We won't make it right now, but we'll make it soon. We'll, uh, we'll wait a little bit. So I can go turn on all these guys again. On. You know, there's there's no people in them right now, but we can get the rest the remainder of the coal and everything from it. 
we're, we're, we're gonna just wait just until it, it basically completely goes and does its thing. All right, let's uh, turn off the generator. Yeah, 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 I turned it off. No worries. Not even close. I would like to send another scouting team out, but we're going to have to do that with uh, a lovely group here. Let me see. We don't need so much steel. I'm going to divert people into the wall drill more. So because this is always uh, heating it, that's why we can kind of keep it on. But I guess I got it a little bit later than I'm, I'm primarily used to. Oh my god, are they building again? I swear, to, I swear these guys are trolling me. I need, I need more wood, though. I don't need so much of the, uh... Oh, wait. That did not actually heat up this to a significant degree. We're gonna just keep that off, actually. So with that, we're, we're at a toasty, livable temperature now, which is a lot better, and that should be good. Okay, so we've got a rock slide over here. So we'll deal with the Buried with Fortune, Discovered Iron Bank. Oh, shit, I didn't read it, sorry. Uh, <laughs> we opened the door and the concrete wall with uh, difficulty. Inside we found a venerable industrial treasure trove. An industrial complex, uh, sorry, an, an un underground complex that housed a uh, factory of some kind. All right, and we can go to the Iron Bank as well. And yeah, we're kind of not so good on the pulse side of things. I guess we could do this with heaters if we were to have the temperature. If we were to have the heaters, we could finish it up with that, actually. And then I think, now look at this. So we'll probably do the heaters right after this. Uh, except I really... Actually, we'll do heaters, yeah. Because I, I want to finish up the rest of these guys, too. So, you know, we'll, it's a good idea to do that. We still can't get this last steam hub going. That's kind of the, the crazy part. We're gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, long or, or th long long hours of toil, we don't deal with that, so we don't bother. We never bother. I'm trying to think of anything else I could do for coal at the moment, but I guess there isn't really. Like I said, that one thing will be really useful. Let's see. Yeah, we have like two days to make uh, some watch towers. All right, we got some more people. According to these, group of, uh, these survivors, a group of refugees took a wrong turn at the White Pass. They'll surely die if we don't send scouts to help them. All right. So, with that being said, let's go divert some people around. Uh, one second. Iron bank, steel, steam cores. Useless riches. This is, this is indeed the vault which the lords planned to preserve as much of their wealth as they could. Yet there isn't much in the way of gold, apart from some ancient jewelry and other works of art. There are wonders of science and knowledge here, instruments, books, newspapers, and letters. So we can leave it in, 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 uh, intact or spare nothing. We need the raw resources so we can we can take it apart. So that, 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 one's kind of a, that one's kind of an interesting one. So this guy does have a lot of resources. I'm gonna actually send him back is what I'm gonna do because that would be a useful use of time. It's either the White Pass now has a bunch of stuff. We do have six days to deal with that, so. Uh, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start taking people and putting them into certain things. We now have a lot of people to, to work with now. Uh, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pause it. And I'm gonna figure out a bunch of sick people. And I'm gonna send them out, probably. Oh, there's like a bunch here. Workers. One, two, three. Whoops. I have to hold shift for that, not control. This mess. Send a scout team out. I'm gonna send them to fishing village to start because I want to start the outpost teams for that really fast. And so these guys put them into there. All done. So five are in treatment, didn't I? I guess it, it put the five sickest people in there. So all right, and with that we can heater, heater, and heater up here. I'm debating if... I think I have enough coal for that now, so we're pretty good now. So with that, I can go into drafting machines now. Guess we turn this on. Let's see how it goes. Yeah. Our consumption's good. So we can wrap up the rest of this, and then we're going to have to get some, like, probably the steam coal thumper and some other stuff. And that's actually pretty easy to go into. Oh, we also need the watchtower. So I'm going to turn off that. Actually, for that regard, I should just get rid of two of these buildings, actually. 
Hopefully they're actually removing them and not just like chilling out. No, they're just chilling out. Alright, watchtower. So this is the order buildings that we get, so you get like a neighborhood watch, you know, it's, it's all nice. How could that possibly go wrong? <laughs> oh, there you go. Another watchtower. Do we have uh, engineers I can throw onto that or no? I got like five in here. I prefer having uh, more engineers in there. Oh uh, yeah, and then we have that. Mm. Okay, I'll put the watchtowers up first. Alright. And there we go. Two towers. As you promised, you built to man the watchtowers in order to maintain the city. We really probably don't need this building anymore. I don't know. I'm still thinking about it. Do we have like another group coming in that can man that? I don't think so. Like I said, we also have a problem of, like, this is actually not enough food for us at the moment either, because if we go to our... And they give you some good stats for this, too. You see, we're losing about 140, 48 food a day. So the, the hunter's huts I kind of made were to sustain, not to, like, really solve the problem. And to solve the problem, we're going to go to that that food uh, canning location, the, the one that I was looking at earlier, that I have someone going to. So we get Outpost Depot with that next level, essentially. But we do get a fair bit of stuff that we can kind of shuffle around for that, so... Actually, I can put some some children onto here instead. Actually, I think I already have all the children here. Yeah, I do. This is what I mean? You get like... You get 45 children, so... It's, uh... Pretty... Pretty easy to, to kind of get them all going, so... Why are they all... They're all in treatment. Oh well, whatever. We don't need, we don't need whatever they give. Alright, fishing village. Uh, is this guy coming over? Yeah, he's he's almost back. He's gonna just drop off the steel and the wood. And I think I'm gonna also need to go throw down a couple of resource stations, actually. Resource depot. So that canning village is something else. It's really quite good. Purpose. Alright, so... You start with more um, neighborhood watches, which is like, yeah, you just get watchtowers. You can do uh, essentially morning gathering and go all the way down to foreman. So morning gatherings will slightly raise hope from time to time. Hope will rise slightly. And then there's guard stations, which becomes a little bit more, <laughs> a little bit more. An organi organized militia will maintain peace and order and help us deal with anyone who might threaten it. Uh, so you have a guard station. Guard stations raise hope of people living nearby. They lower discontent of people living nearby. You can use guards to break up protests. You will have to build two guard stations. Discontent will raise slightly. Um, both are fairly good to go into. Eh, I'm debating which one to do first, though. We'll probably like Foreman is so strong. So we'll, we'll go down. To, we'll go down to Foreman first. That's what we'll, that's what we'll start with. Hear me, hear me. We're gonna have to do our do the people very soon. I actually might send this guy to go start getting people, actually. That's probably what I'll do. This guy will be responsible for doing the rest of it, and that's it. Alright, what's the problem over here? Timely intervention. Sir, a child climbed onto a generator, slipped and fell, but thankfully near was caught by a nearby neighborhood watch member who was on patrol nearby. He then escorted the child to his mother and gave them both, both a good talking to. It could have ended with a broken leg, of, or worse, if it wasn't for a watchman. <laughs> neighbor, neighbor commented, we're lucky to have them. I'm glad it ended well. See, they like to be in the janitor, you see what I mean? They prefer, they, they like the mines and they like being inside the janitor. It's it's all good. Alright, going straight into Outpost Depot to start. It's got to return safely. So I will now start to go grab things over here. So we'll go grab, we, we have, we have, we're now pretty safe off now, so I don't even need this sawmill anymore. How's discontent doing? I wonder. It's probably it's. I, I see. I hear someone yelling, but I don't, I don't think it's that. Is it resource depot? Yeah, that's what I want. Yeah. Okay. All right. We'll take these ones out too. There we go. So this guy is full on steel, but he can still grab coal. I was like, what is this? Waiting for workers. Why did they just stop? <laughs> I, I, I have a little bit of an issue with that. I don't know why they keep doing that. I want to store more steel, but here we go. Raw food. A strange vehicle stands uh, in the middle of the desert village. Here we go. Broken ice drill. A 
the, the, this village was supposed to carry, uh, carry uh, sorry, it was supposed to supply our city with food. The vehicle carried a broken ice drill used for making air holes big enough for us to fish under the ice. We can fix it and build an outpost here or dismantle and receive receive one steam core. Repair it, absolutely repair it. One steam core is not worth it. What is that gonna be? That's like half a, how, uh, a hot house? No, repair this, absolutely. If you don't repair it, I swear to God. <laughs> it's that That is something you, you most certainly repair. That's like the biggest, like, yeah. You only get two outposts in this mission and that's like one of them. And that's like the important one, so. I, I will definitely say that much. All right, we can definitely convert this. Uh, actually, I don't really need to do much else here, do I? We can still make the second one wood. We got 19 sick, but we're pretty good on like just dealing with them coming in and out of it. So that's what I mean. Like, so we got more sick probably because of the meals. That's likely why we have it. But we're, we're pretty good at dealing with it. We have two medical outposts that are just like dealing with it as they come in, and that's it. So, all right, let's get four men. So. Uh, new ability foreman, you can if increase the efficiency of workplace by 40% for 24 hours, is what you can do with this one. So it's quite strong, quite good, and you just, some guy shouting, and this also works on automatons. The guy just shouts at the automaton and it just works harder. So that is, that is the thing it does do. So what I'm gonna do is as soon as, uh, yeah, I'll just do it. So we'll do it on this one. It does cost 10 food rations, so we're not gonna, like, abuse it for the time being. We're gonna try and keep it a little bit, uh good and there we go so we have some survivors here lost and found a shallow depression by the bend shelters a group of people their supplies fell into an ice uh, crevasse and they made camp here to wait for help the lost children wandered into and into the camp a few days ago we're lucky we found them before they all starved so we're gonna escort them back because if you you can leave them but without knowing how to get to our city they'll die try to find out and some of them will die if they don't come back so we'll just escort them back it is a way to get like five extra engineers if you really want it, but yeah. All right, we got another group here. These newcomers came across some lost engineers and brought them to our city. They have unsettling news. As we were leaving London, our ships uh, taken to the Lords, taken from the Lords. Uh, we, we heard Lord Craven giving orders to shoot at us. We must stick together in case he ever follows us here. So again, he's a named person. He's actually a real, he's a real person. I think he was the like prime minister or something of UK in like 1885 or something. I think it's what he was. You can look him up and it's it's actually kind of neat, but he is he is a real person. So actual real person is is uh is what they did do that with that. So how many housing things do we have? 12 vacant beds, okay. So we can throw down a couple more probably some places here. Tents The important part is that it's generator. Uh, it's it's not going to be fueled by that. I I need to be heated up, but well, I guess we can only have one for now. But that's fine. All right, outpost depot completed. Uh, the lighter sleds uh, sleds might help out, but they're not terribly great. Steam coal thumper would be probably one of the best things to get. But also, steam steel works is also very good. We can do the steam coal thumper just to make sure that our coal doesn't run out. And we could also probably start going into, well, honestly, the food is actually not ironically as as needed now as you would think, because we now have the outpost depots. And that's gonna solve all our food problems. I'm not gonna say on every scenario you, you can have that kind of a thing happen, but this is definitely the one where you can have it happen. It's really quite nice when it does. So we have the foreman working at this place, and that's 140% efficiency. Now mind you, it's not actually researching that much faster. Uh, it's it's more of like a research thing that, that does it, but it's a really strong ability, especially when you have a, a surplus of food, which we currently do not. Well, I, I, I say that, but we're, we're actually doing pretty good for food at the moment, aren't we? Maybe, maybe I'm just being over, overly uh, pessimistic. It's mostly because I look at this and I'm very concerned. That's, that's the reason. So I'll, I'll use it on uh, workshops every day and that's it. So there we go, we got our children and our engineers back. We're missing a little bit of housing, but that's it. So with that, we can send them to either, there's no covered supplies or we can go to that first. It should be, we have to go get the people at the White Pass as well at some point, so. All right, we got another one here. Missing children, a group from the trail bend of the very short city, the missing children is among them, the parents are beside themselves, uh, beside themselves with joy. Oh, hope rises. There we go. See, everyone's so happy here. And uh, this guy's not happy. He's gonna be discontent because I'm not, I'm not removing long hours of shifts. All right. 
And you can see now we have actually a lot of people coming in as well. So we're pretty good on that on that front as well. We are a-okay. So I need to start making outpost teams. The first one will go to the fishing village, as I mentioned. And we'll go to see if that bug now happens. I need to somehow free up 10 workers. Um, we have... I'll just put these 10 in. And we'll put engineers in that one. I'll put these guys in the frozen forest. So I guess we are going to be trying kill-ins. Kill-ins are, are going to be the play here, actually. We could also form in this building, too. But again, I, I don't really want to use the food if I don't have to. Okay. Steam coal thumper finished. Let's have a look. All right. Can start going into kill-ins now. I also wouldn't mind putting in the steam, uh, steam steelworks now. Just stockpile that so I can get all the housing I want. You know, as if not to uh, prove me wrong, we're finding steel all over the place. So. Uh, we found some supplies inside the wreck. We'll, finally sh we'll surely find a good for, uh, good use of them. Aircraft wreck and wrecked ve vehicle. So, th sending one steel. We'll go to the wrecked vehicle first. And there you go. Everyone's everyone's getting fed and everything, so we're actually pretty good on that. We're doing a okay. And I will send this guy to snow covered supplies. All right, so we have first the fishing village. Oh, okay, no, no one died this time. I swear to God, people died when I made these outposts. It just made the noise, and then I noticed I had a bunch of bodies. So 200 wood every two days. There you go. That Okay, there you go. Someone died. Why? I don't understand. Why, why did they die? <laughs> oh, you know they must have been? They must have been sick or something. Is that a problem when they're sick and they go into that? According to this, I don't have any body count, so I don't know. <laughs> it made the it made the someone died noise. <laughs> that's that's the thing. What am I supposed to th think to that? Uh, oh yeah, yeah, let's go back here. All right, all right. So we got four men, uh, guard stations. Because I swear I had corpses before uh, last time. So an organized militia will help us maintain peace. All right, we're gonna build that. All right. So to start with that, we will make the two guard slightly higher towers this time. Getting getting a little bit more overbearing there. I'm really getting into my role as a as a really hard ass uh, dictator, I guess. Hey, what are you gonna do, right? Well, if you have nothing to hide, you have nothing to fear. Oh, that sounds good. There you go. So it's still five. Grand station built and, and man manto uh or to maintain order in the city. Some people question on purpose, but the majority support your decision. Hope rises. All right, so I will say, uh, if you're playing this scenario, you absolutely need guard, scenario, uh, guard towers or faith guard to get the best possible outcome if you're going to complete the scenario, I, I would say. This doesn't count as crossing the line, which is the kind of like the negative, I guess, of what you can get out of this. It does not count as crossing the line to do this. Uh, it's uh, crossing the line comes in at... Not even actually at propaganda centers, because I've done a lot of order. It's like, uh, so you get, after this, you get patrol, which is ensuring safety and order of is, is uh, the utmost importance to long-term survival of the city. This doesn't do it either, I th believe. It's like each use will reduce discontent, each reuse will raise hope slightly. Prison doesn't do it, <laughs> weirdly enough. I, I would have thought prison would have been crossing the line, but I guess prison is pretty normal. Uh, propaganda Center does not. To keep things running smoothly, we must stay informed about our people's concerns, and they have a way of spreading news about what they want, what we want them to hear. So that doesn't either. Uh, ag agitator, we're, we're, we're going to be agitator. We're, we're trying to go for right now. Either pledge of loyalty or forceful persuasion are the ones that I believe make you cross the line. Is the way it works, if I recall. Um, but agitator is really nice, so we're going to be doing that. <laughs> agitator is really good. Alright, let's see. What is he at? Raw food. Take resources. I don't, I don't just know we uncovered many crates of full supplies and telling who may have left me here. Alright. So I guess I might as well just head to the White Pass. It's gonna take me a, a day and 12 hours to get there, so... Alright, let's see. A group has been through a lot. An avalanche of the Black Spire separated them from their friends. They beg us to help them. I see. Okay, so if we go back here, it's actually... Black Spire is nowhere. I, th I thought we were supposed to see a new place here. There it is. That's what I, th that's what I thought. We could technically go to this one, too. I'm not sure which one is the better one to go for right now. 22 hours. I'm going to go to White Pass. I, I just will. How much time do we have? We have four days. 
Uh, actually, no. We're gonna go. We're gonna go to the shorter one, actually, because it's when you grab them, it counts as you having it at that point. So. I really need to figure out how to get some more people in here. I might need another place of. Uh, see, I would I would have had enough if these went away, but they're not going away. So, maybe I need to foreman this this building. Let's just do that, foreman. <laughs> so yeah, we get to do it. By the way, there is a cooldown on the building of two days, so you can't do it as often as you would like to do it, kind of thing. But you can. It's it's enough. You can get a lot out of it. So coal and steel from wreck vehicle, in supply as well as disassembling the wreck. We salvaged what we could from it. We found a hidden cache of supplies. We got coal, lots of coal and, and some steel from it. So, not so bad. And gets a, to get an aircraft wreck over there. I want these guys to finish this uh, building over here. No time to waste. We've got work to do. And you can, you can hear that. It's, it sounds a little bit different, doesn't it? <laughs> it sounds slightly different now. So the, yeah, the, the warning thing is, it's, it, to be fair, Faith did the same thing, so. You know, it was all—it was all the—it was all the same. But it, it now makes a, a a new horn noise, essentially. So, should I do? No, I guess I can't fit another one around here. So, unfortunately, this guy is going to be a little bit cold. Moderate risk of falling ill. Uh, let's see, what's this guy have left? I, don't know, I might—I might just feed it, get it, just get it some food here, just so they just get out of here. All right, steam steel works completed. With that being said, I can do the charcoal kill-in because I kind of said I would do that this scenario. So we and we have lots of wood at this point, so that's not the that's no longer the problem in this scenario. So I guess we'll I guess we'll get a shot. The other option is to go for infirmaries, which is not a bad idea either. Uh, how much do I need coal right now? Let's have a look. Consumption. That's a yeah. We're actually we're actually pretty good on coal. Actually, you know what? I'm going to. Go down the smarter path and do medical posts. And we actually look as well because we now have the other up, uh, the other location as well. The food. See how much rations we get now. So that means we don't really have to rush down the hunter's path anymore. Just having that outpost there has now effectively solved all our food problems for the foreseeable future. Is it all done? Okay, there you go. These guys are done now. All right, another order thing. Exemplary behavior, sir. A group of people found. Uh, inspiration in their work under the guidance of the foreman and decide to try organizing their, their workplace on their own. Their spirit and motivation are ex exemplary today. Keep up the good work. So, they just have uh, they just have plus 20% just because. So they're just going faster. And I don't even have a foreman on them. So that's why order kicks ass. Order is the best. Are they, are they done here? Yep, they look like they're done here too. Cool. And what I can also do is I can probably throw in a... Uh, yeah, I'll do that for the next day, I guess. But sorry, I was gonna say I can I can get like another person to to. I was gonna say I could get another uh, group to uh, uh, another foreman to get more wood out of it, but yeah, it's not not that important. Honestly, it's better for the steel actually. I'll use it for steel because now we have lots of food now. So speaking of, I can get another uh, little little resource depot for that too. Oh, this is so nice actually. So we're definitely well at the point where these things no longer matter. <laughs> so we have lots of children now working, so we can see where they all are and we can just get them to go wherever. And and also and I should also talk about like if you were to do children's shelters, you would have to shelter all fifty-five of these children to get the bonus at all, which is like 20%. It isn't worth it. It seriously is not worth it. Do not do it. For the love of God, don't do it. All right, we can get, let's see, Steve Steelworks going. I'll form in them tomorrow. All right, medical post. Yeah, go all the way to infirmary. I do want to have another place to do my, oh. Why is that doesn't count as building streets? No, it's destroying? No. Hey, hold up. Okay, it's fine. Never mind. I don't know. <laughs> don't ask me. We can get another workplace here as well. Tech. Let's see. Order. Let's see. Uh, Steam Hub. 
How, how are we doing for time left? We have three days left to get all the people, so. And we're almost to this one here, so. Alright. Get some coal and steam cores uh, from an aircraft wreck. Uh, novel design. We only heard of vague rumors of. We had no idea they'd be actually been made. So. This machine had four wings and arranged in two levels. It was powered by engines similar to those used in motor sleds, but were more powerful and compact. It seems that they were only used to carry important loads or passengers, but we only found two bodies on board. Slumped over the controls of the forward cabin. So we got some coal and some steel and some cores. We can do that one. Probably for the next research, I'll probably... Instead of doing this, actually, I could go into faster sleds just to make sure it's not even close. Because that, that is a pretty significant upgrade, actually. Uh, what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start shuffling around where food and things go. Cool. There we go. All right. So for this one, we're going to throw down a couple of more workshops. Just to make sure it's not even close. There we go. I don't think I actually need this many. How many? I don't even have that many engineers, but I'm gonna I'm gonna take them away from the center because you know there's no reason to have it there actually. Again, we don't go for coal mines in this because I I just don't feel the need to. All right, we got some survivors here. Explorer Black Rock is composed of ancient volcanic rock at its base. The shallow depression offers protection from the wind. A group of people found shelter here. So, a group of people got lost after an avalanche separated them from the others. Exhausted, they stopped here to recover, but their supplies were running out. On their way, they saw a large, peculiar structure that was buried in the snow. They have no idea what it is, other than that it was man-made. Okay, we will escort them to the city. It's 37 workers that's going to be coming over here, so... Uh, do we have enough housing for that, though? We have 28 available housing with one coming in, so we're going to have to start working on another block now. Uh, we can go like down like this. This will be fine. And they're going to take about 12 hours to get back, and we have three days left, so we're going to be more than fine. Again, it's not even close, so let's go use some foreman abilities. Even though these idiots are going to go build for some reason. Whatever, fine. Uh, they're all building, what? Okay, whatever. <laughs> I'm going to use a bunch of foreman abilities. All right, Stranger Than Horizon, another group of refugees have reached the city. On their way, they spot a ship in the distance away from the landing site. We should go investigate. I'll think about it. There's a ship somewhere around there. Uh, it's... where is it at? Oh, it doesn't show up yet. Landing site discovered. There it is. So it's a little bit a little bit past that, so there you are. Better watch out. There's no, there's no telling who's coming in that ship. Yep. A little bit concerned. So with Foreman, I'm like, eh, I'm kind of like on the on the fence of like, oh, I don't really need to do a lot of these other things here, so. I don't really need automatons, I feel, so. Alright. But I think we have a lot of sick right now, and we have to go deal with that. I don't know why we have so many sick. Alright, so with that, so, okay. A little bit of a forward note about this. I want to get agitators. You have to get propaganda center as a as a prerequisite. Now, if you build propaganda centers, uh, you will get a forced death event. Uh, and we have one simple solution to this. We will sign it, and we will just not do it. <laughs> just ignore it. it. It happens when you build it. Not if you, I think it's not if you have it, you have to build it. I actually haven't tried that to like, basically tear it down as soon as I make it. Yeah, look at this, six bodies, why? <laughs> it, it's from I think it's from that event that that happened earlier like the sorry I, I think it was from the the outpost but I'm not sure if the curse has anything to do with it but I guess they came back in the sled or something I don't know that's the one and it happened it happened before to me but like you saw like it wasn't anyone that starved or was sick or anything it was just like it just kind of did its thing so I'm gonna also make another uh, tent for medical post maybe Woman in despair. A woman is sitting in the snow pit hol holding her dead husband's uh, hand. 
uh, crying our heart out. Perhaps you should have agreed to let people have proper funerals out of, out of So you can make an exception, or you can just say, I do what I have to do. Fine, just let it make an exception. But uh, again, that doesn't, I don't know why that happens. I, I keep thinking to myself it's re maybe related to the cursed, uh, like, chest thing that we found earlier, but I'm like, I don't really know. And it's uh, really quite irritating because that's the second time this happened to me, so. I think it's maybe related to the tools. I don't know. I have no confirmation on that, though. I, I simply do not know. But yeah, so we had apparently six people die. I think it was the outpost team because it's the only time we've ever heard, like, the death noise, you know? Uh, so where's all our engineers at? Let's see. Oh, they're working over here, so get them out. Let them be discontented. Alright, they've returned with workers and raw food, and we're missing some shelter, but that's fine. We'll make a new one in, in all due time. So I'm gonna go back to the Black Spire. So that's the fastest way to go back. So Avalanche survivors, of the, the refugees who survived the Avalanche of the Black Spire of Reacher City, they've, fi they've finally been re reunited with their friends. Excellent. Good to hear, good to hear. Alright, I'm gonna go throw down a... Uh, some stuff here so I can I can make another little place for them to go go I like I said I don't that what I don't fully understand because I've had that happen now twice and uh, it's it's confusing me every time like I'm like I don't know how they die <laughs> but they they figured out a way they figured out a way all right we got food and raw uh, raw raw food and wood from the supply depot so just check we found plenty of valuable resources okay that's it and there's nothing else here so we can just uh head back now but you heard it because it was it only happened at the at the outpost there so drunken outpost captain whenever workers have gotten drunk now he's scaring people shouting some nonsense about the lords the lords are coming in that ship you'll see they're coming in what that with that bastard lord craven to take what's ours so we can leave him be or shut him up uh, we're just leaving him be let the hope fall all right here's what we're gonna do we're gonna let the rest of the day go Alright, we can start disassembling these guys. I'm gonna throw people into all these buildings now. These are our new like, little research location now. Alright, we can get people to go all around, and that should be it. So, yeah, we do have a bit of a problem with, like, the amount of people that we have. Oh, uh, let's see. I don't like this. One second. We could definitely squeeze some more in here. Eh. Ah, yeah, fine. I swear it's not enough, but whatever. <laughs> Look how big this is! This is so thick! Dude, these people need, like, a huge tent. Look at these guys, like, come on. It's a survival game. You could deal with, like, like they're the lo they're the true lords right here. Let's, I think we found them. They snuck in the camp in one of the, the groups here. Wanting to live in luxury in, like, a, a tent this double the size of all of Europe, like, God. Alright, I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to get them. Yeah, I'm just gonna make a really tiny one, maybe, or something. Let's, let's try this. Can I can I get them to fit in there? No, of course not. Why would anything pleasant happen? Let's put let's put some workers in just because. But you see, like yeah, we we got like a ton of people now. We do not have an issue with population at all. Yeah, this will be fine. You know what? I don't mind. All right, good enough. I just wanted to fit two two houses in there. That was that was it. Again, I'm building over the coal patches. I don't care. We're not we're not doing coal this this mission. I don't really believe in it. Even though I have eight cores and I could do something with it, I like to put them into infirmaries. I really, I really believe in infirmaries. I really like them. Okay, I really think that this could have a lot less or whatever. One second. I think, I think, I think it's really trolling me right now. Is this actually in a? Whatever, I'll just put I'll just put two in. It's fine. I'm I'm just I'm trying to maximize the space, but it's like I can't get it to do that. So, one sec. 
And for the life of me, I can't get it to do that. I know, I know a workplace is finished, but... Actually, maybe I can. I don't know. If I destroy this one, what will it say? Oh yeah, we did. We got it. Okay, there we go. We got all three, so... Alright, Black Spire, we sent to pass. It'll take 16 hours, so we, we finished it well ahead of schedule, so we're, we're definitely good here. You didn't even need the, to do a lot of the upgrades that I did do, so we're, we're perfectly fine on that. Let's see. So we got a fair bit of wood out of that one, so Foreman was fine. You know, I'm kind of surprised. Where is all the wood? Yeah, there he is. He's coming in now. Yeah, we've been we've been using it, like, pretty graciously. So there we go. We got all the resources that that guy had. We still have, we have a ton of food. Like, it's just not an issue. And again, even with all the people that we have and our low level of food tech, we still have like double the amount of production per day. So this is like, this is your opportunity to just waste it away on, on various different upgrades that you don't care about, you know? Because it don't matter now. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start to remove these roads. All right, infirmary finished. All right, we got, let's see. I like to go for, so we can still go for the killing, but I think I'm still pretty good on heating right now. Because everything now is within a generator range now. So realistically, the upgrade is actually probably the best thing to go for. Uh, do check your consumption. So the consumption's fine. So I will still go for those kill-ins, but I won't rush to it right away. We got a bit of time. It's also not a bit bad idea to stockpile any excess coal that we get to. So I had a bit going here. And yeah, you can see like the hunter's huts are like just it's not that they're not needed, they will be needed, but yeah. They are they are good now. Let's see. How how tiny can we make this, do you do you guys reckon? I love I <laughs> I you know, I, I think that was a bit optimistic of me to say I could put make it any smaller than that, I don't know. Yeah, it could be a little bit smaller. You know what? I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller. But yeah, we're gonna we're now we're gonna replace our uh, infirmaries with yeah. There we go. Look at that. That's perfect. Awesome. Ah, there we go. Okay. So didn't you? Whoops. Hey, someone just made the road. I didn't mean them to. There we go. So these are much better use of our 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 engineers that we have in these buildings. So we're gonna retire these ones now. Uh, we will actually put a lot more into these as well. Oh, someone's waiting. I don't think he'll switch over, but we'll see. So because we did the other... Um, so we did sustain life. And sustain life has just essentially meant that we can... Um, we don't have to deal with the MPTs, which means I don't have to actually work on any of the, any of the, um, the MPT buildings. So no one's in palliative care. Uh, which palliative care would have meant like... If we did radical treatment, they would have been turned into amputees, but now they won't. And and this can actually heal them to the point where if they're gravely ill, they can actually get healed, which is really nice. No, we will not we will not do that. Oh, we can also do force them to work now, I just realized. Because we have guard towers now. That's an option you do get now. But we won't be doing that. We're gonna just be tearing all these things apart. Okay, mechanical calculators. All done. So with that being said. Let's see, temperature drop happening in a day. That's the first thing you get. But I think stockpiling resources, primarily with a steam wall drill, would be the worst idea. Uh, there's nothing, this would be to employ fewer engineers, which is, eh, we don't really need that. We'd also start going for the house, but the house we would do a redesign on, so I wouldn't really bother with that either. Uh, efficiency isn't that important either. Just kind of looking around at the things we could do. I think steam wall drill would be good. It's something that, that we can invest in early, which is always worthwhile. Let's get some more steel. And let's see. Get some coal too, because we're going to save on coal. All right, where is this guy at? So we got the last group of survivors. Explorer, led by fools. Shouts and cheers break up through the howling wind as we descend at the pass onto the small camp. Are you from the city? One asks the refugees. One of the, oh, ask one of the refugees. Relieved about our answer, he uh, he tells about a group of know-it-all engineers who led them in the wrong direction. And uh, Sice discovered stone ships, so we're going to escort them to the city. That's what we're going to do. A group of a group of know-it-all engineers. So yeah, this guy did switch over to known known passageway, so we're going to keep that going. 
And that would be the last one, so we're just waiting with one last refugee group, and that's it. There's two engineers in here. Let's just shuffle around, see if there's anyone else that's supposed to be in a place that isn't supposed to be. Alright, that's good. They will heal extremely fast, which is really nice. Last group. Um, the people from this group say there are no more ref refugees coming. We were the last to leave the ships. We should be the last to reach the generator. There's no lef soul left on the trail behind us. That's it. We saved all our people. Well, except for like six that died apparently at the outpost. So. You did it. Our friends and families, brothers and sisters, husbands and wives are safe. We're stronger now. You have proved that together we can achieve the impossible. Glad to hear that. Honestly, I'd, I'd want to redo this. Uh, with like, well, I want to. I would want to see what changes with the uh, what's it called when you do the when you don't do the hangman's thing because I swear that that must have something to do with that or it's some bug where I sent out sick people which you don't maybe want to send sick people out on an outpost team uh, you succeeded everyone has been saved okay thanks I that one was that one's the wildest one but I think it's I, I think it's actually related to sick people I think it's what it is because on this scenario I have a lot of sick people as you can see we have a great abundance of, of sick so so we're actually at a point now where we have now more workers than I actually know what to do with at this point because they're going to just be sitting here. So, but that's kind of the way the scenario goes. Um, we're going to probably just go into some laws like the, uh, like uh, what's it called, the the hookers and stuff and, and all that kind of stuff and Fight Club, you know, all that fun stuff. We could we could just put more hunters huts on, but like it's so strong to get like food the way that we're getting it right now. It's so dang strong. There's, a, there's like no reason not to. All right, what do you have? A young couple. A young couple, couple asked us to deliver this note to you. We've, uh, we were separated on trial and had to fight back despair. Thanks to your efforts, we have been united. Uh, no, no words can express our gratitude. Oh, there you go. Hope rises. I'm pretty happy with us now. We don't even have any discontent problems either. All right, so here's the agitator. So strategically placed loudspeakers will remind our citizens of the importance of work, increase their efficiency. So this would be the equivalent of I think the shrines for the the face. So that you you get your you get either one kind of thing. You get you get your own version of it, right? So you get to do agitators right here. So we're gonna throw a bunch down everywhere. Basically anywhere where there's any kind of work to be done. So the 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 towers aren't affected by it, but they don't really have anything about it either. So you can see anything that's affected by it has like a, a border around it. So, so we can kind of put, throw one here, throw one down here. That's it. That's all the agitators we'll need. What we'll also do is we'll throw in a uh, another group here. Scout has returned with more engineers and workers. You can disband the scouts or send them back to the frost lands. I'll put these guys onto work. Well, Lost refugees found. So are the workers who took a wrong turn at White Pass as Reacher City. They look around eagerly, looking longing for a hot meal on a warm bed. There you go. We got it all. So I will send this guy to the White Pass because this is the, like the last place we have to explore. So like I said, the two outposts, these are the only ones you find. That's it. So it's either coal or wood. So you gotta basically kind of like... And you don't get to choose it. You get to find out really late in the scenario, essentially. So how much uh, housing do we have now? There we go, we got 73 vacant bre beds, so that's fine. Agitator is built. You're operational, your encouraging words can reach more people. There you are. Uh, so, we can kind of look around and see how's our consumption doing. Pretty good here. We can go throw down a couple more resource depots just to save. Uh, the name of the game will be to save a bunch of resources now. Uh, we don't need that one, actually. So you might as well keep it going, because the snare's not over yet, if you haven't noticed. It's not over. We've done part one. That's that's kind of where we're at right now. So, let's see. We got steam, drill, generator power mark two would be the worst. Yeah, we're about to have that temperature drop, so that's the one we're going to do now. And it's it drops three times. So right now it's going to go, yeah, drop pretty significantly, so... All right, so stone ship. Let's go read what it is. Research outpost and steam lorry. Research hasn't uncovered anything of value, but we may be able to reach some more promising locations. All right, so with that being said, I'm gonna actually go more towards up. What we're gonna do? I'm gonna have this guy go, come over here instead. 
Oh yeah, it starts shouting German at you. That's what it does do. You know, you, you'll hear that occasionally because we have agitators now, so. Are they called agita agitators or the ag agitators or something? I don't know. It's a... It, it, it seems like agitator. Uh, it just seems like agitated, like, right? I, I, that's why I'm thinking I'm saying it wrong, but I don't think I am saying it wrong. Now we're gonna have to we're gonna have to throw this one on in a minute. We we just got the upgraded version of that, so we actually have pretty good sick now as well. So, so here's the thing that's fun, uh, and this is why I think this is why I think that whatever the um, the what's it called the uh, the the sawdust is perfectly fine to do. So we do have sick people, but these are these are essentially like children and workers. But we have an excess of workers, and the thing I've noticed is that what it will do is it will reassign people automatically, so that you don't lose efficiency in your buildings. So as long as you have some unemployment to deal with the people who are getting sick, kind of a thing, it will like having having that kind of food is fine. We can just keep it on because I literally cannot employ all these people. There's no way I can do it, right? So with it going up, how's our consumption now? Not doing too good. So we got a couple things we could do. We can either do generator drive efficiency, or we can start going to those charcoal kilns now. Yeah. There's also like a, let's see, I think there's a coal thumper. Yeah, there's insulators, but we, yeah. we'll try the kilns. Let's go throw one out together then. It's up to 70, 70 wood per workday. That's like really easy to, to throw together. We can also throw in another... Oh, one second. The looming threat. Captains, the lookouts at the beacon report a large group of strangers marching in our direction. We have to assume that the lords are coming. Our people are afraid that their worst fears are going to come true. We're going to die in this frozen hell if they force us to leave. Even if they let us stay, they're going to turn us into our slaves. We must be ready to fight, I see. Well, there goes the other scenario. Face the lords. The prospect of so many lords coming here has caused understandable tension. The conflict between people from different social classes could jeopardize the future of our city. The next few days could shape our, uh, our society and might, uh, and might very well be completely defined, redefined. Okay. Well, let's keep this going here. Gone home. The people who worked here were explorers. They paved the way north for the rest of us. They must have left in a hurry, perhaps to reunite with their families before the great winter took hold. Take resources. We get some coal and some steam cores out of it. So we're kind of like, we're at like eight steam cores, which is not bad, but we're currently going to use it on like steam stuff over here. I'm just going to do it as soon as the, the shop closes. Steam wall drill. So again, we're not going to build a propaganda center. We're just going to let that fail because, you know, Chad, Giga Chad moment. So we don't actually have a whole lot of need for engineers now. So, well, sorry, we do have a need for engineers. We don't have a need for engineers inside this building, though. Oh, well, we have like three left. There we go. We have the full capacity, but they'll just be slow. Who cares? So, we got a new steam wall drill. Yeah, let's see this one. All right, so we can go get the steam lorry over there. So, we got a good day to deal with it. And, uh,. But like I said, the two temperature drops are the main the main issue that we're gonna have to deal with. We have a good amount of like temperature insulation though. But I, I like to I like to solve it with technology. So we can do foreman here. You can't inform in the infirmary, weirdly enough. I don't know why you can't, but storage limit reached. I guess these need to gather faster. Oh right, two of these are not actually working all the time. I'll just I'll form in two of them. <laughs> Might as well just form in all the things. That's why it's so strong. You can't do that with, with faith, right? That's why I like it. <laughs> just any building you want. Oh, you want more steel? Sure, why not? Just throw, just throw some food at them. I guess it depends how plentiful food is, but that goes really well with, like, like everything else. So. All right, steel and steam cores. Uh, the generators are built uh, thanks to steam lorries like this, and their ability to call, uh, haul cargo over from the frozen landscape is a shame it can't be repaired. Let's get some steam cores too. So you do get a bunch, but like I'm actually at the point where like yeah, I could I could say hey let's go do, let's go make a stop at do automatons, but I again I have a crap ton of workers right, and like because you did child labor right. If you didn't do child labor maybe, but like you'd have to what would you, what else would you do with them? You have eighty of them. They're not doing anything right. So that's what I mean, like the options that you kind of get are like, they kind of lean you a little bit more towards doing, like basically just doing this, the exact thing that I'm doing here. Charcoal killing researched, all right. 
Am I saying it right? Kill in, right? Kill in. Like, kill something. I don't know. Uh, Alright, so let's see. So we can go into... Yeah, that, we don't need more food. We don't need hot houses. We kind of want housing, but we don't want it right now. Because I want to do the the upgrade to yeah have it be a little bit better. What we might do is we might rush down to generator power three. That might be that might be the play. They're unarmed, Captain. They're they approaching uh, uh, strangers are carrying no weapons. Whatever their intentions, they have no means of attacking us. But people are wary. It's a trick to catch us off guard. The lords are cutting. Those leeches would do anything to get back at us. Mark my words. I see. All right. Uh, propaganda Silter Center not built. Oh, where is it? Oh, I don't know. I, I, I didn't build it on purpose, like I said. Uh, Hope Falls just can, can send rises. It's a pretty significant debuff, but like I said, you can get it back uh, with like the, there's like, they get hope and some other stuff. So at this point, you probably should be pretty well off now. So you might have to do some things a little bit differently, but uh, depending upon your difficulty, <laughs> maybe just build it and not care about the person that dies. I don't know. It's up to you. All right. So you get wood from the landing site. Snow has hidden every trace of the crowds that passed through here from the shore. We were unable to see the mysterious ship that uh, reported by the people. We have to get higher. So, we spotted a ship from the top of the cliff over the haven. It's big. <clears throat> Not a Dreadliner freighter. It's most likely an ocean liner. So, we got ocean liner and icebound hulks. So, I'll go to the icebound hulks. Actually, I'll go to this one first. We'll go to, the, we'll do, go to that guy. Alright, we got some more people. Long hours of toil. Won't address that. We're gonna get some more discontenting stuff like uh, the the whatever the uh, the house is or whatever the I I kind of want rush the efficiency stuff. We don't have like the bouts of fighting arenas and things like that. There's a whole bunch of things that we should be getting. Let's see if there's something that's worth getting right now. There is. It's advanced steel works. We will stop at that. So I want steel. I have the need for steel. Oh, we can make the killings now. I just realized. Uh, where should we put it? I, I kind of want to throw it beside one of these uh, heaters. I, I could just throw them up here, actually. Actually, I can't do that. Never mind. I lied. I don't mean by the janitor. <laughs> it just like I, I don't know. It feels like it feels like a waste, but I don't know. I'm like, might as well, right? Yeah, I'll, I'll throw it by the janitor. I'm just gonna make sure we have enough uh, space here. It's it's actually a really fat building, so usually fat buildings I like to put next to uh, the janitor. Can I make it a little bit smaller than that? Let's see. Oops. Build. Build. <laughs> this thing. This is really just an episode of me trying to like fit in things into the smallest possible locations. Ooh, so close, but so far. Okay, we won't do that then. Probably two killings will be all I need. That's it. So. And someone's gonna tell me I'm mispronouncing it really badly, and I'm gonna be like, uh, yeah, probably Bleacher. Uh oh. I may have disconnected this guy's house. It's okay, he's he's cool with it. I'm uh, just trying to see if there's anything else I should do. We should put a road in the middle here, too. I'm going to just rearrange some of these roads and probably remake that cookhouse, actually, as well. There's a cookhouse. Here we go. We can put this guy in here, make him go do that. So that's 20... 17 coal per hour. Sorry, 20 coal per hour. Post this one's 116. But I do, again, I don't have a bunch of upgrades for it, so it's it's hard to tell right now if how good or bad it is at the moment. And there's also like there's a lot of upgrades I'm missing out on, so let's destroy. No, keep keep making keep making sawdust. Sawdust is life. I love sawdust. Delicious and nutritious. Yeah, we're, we're pretty good on uh, everything else here, so we're, we're A-OK -okay on, on our other resources. We got lovely steelworks to do. Oh, this also... Yeah, there's some that aren't converted over, actually. I don't care about discontent. Yeah, these ones are fine. I wonder if you, when you remake, when you remake the building, does that, like, yield, like, better results for, for it? I, I don't even know. It looks like we could use some more uh, resources once again, so let's go throw some more down. Resource depot. I could I could throw another kill in too. That, that that wouldn't be the worst thing to do. I promise you, I'm probably mispronouncing it, and someone's gonna tell me I'm mispronouncing it, and then I'm gonna be like, yeah, that, that sounds like me. All right, we got our level two chilliness. No time to waste. We 
So the sick will go up a little bit, but that's fine. We're okay. We can just divert people accordingly. The lords are approaching. Sir, the, the captain, the lords are nearly here. There are so many of them, but they look miserable. They seem to be carrying no food supplies. When they reach our city in a few hours, we'll have no choice but to beg us for help. You will have to decide their fate. All right, so they're four hours away, and there's actually two paths you can go here. Uh, and you're probably wondering which one I'm going to do when I get there. And uh, the answer to that is, why not both? So refuge... DZ, I don't ask what that name is, but yes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do the first scenario with it being uh, probably probably helping them out. And it, we'll try the alternate path as well, because it actually does majorly change, actually. Both both directions. So it's actually kind of cool, and we could give it a shot. We could, we could do both, why not? So we'll do, we'll, do, we'll, we'll do both things to basically see if we want to help them out or, uh, or be a dick kind of a thing. That's what we're gonna do. All right, let's do the last upgrade here. No reason not to, I could just save it. It's really easy to just give it a good old save. But yeah, we've, we've stockpiled a bunch of resources, so that's what we're gonna do. And here they are. My God, there are so many of them. What do they want? They're here, the Lords are here. All right, here we go. Lords in rags. Captain, the lords have arrived. They're starving. There's at least a hundred of them. A hundred, and more are coming. They beg us to let us let them in, but that would mean sharing our food supplies and finding them shelter. So you can either send them away, which is the, like I was just talking about, the scenario where you just say, "Fuck off," kind of thing. Go, get, get. But that, that's one of the things you can do. You can you can actually do that. Um, you know, like it's. But you know, we are living in the new ice age, right? Like like. Dude, nobody asked for this. This is like a beyond everyone's control. So you could say, let them in. I will provide. I will improve food uh, infrastructure. You all have two days to provide shelter for the people and build industrial hot houses or, or hunter's hangar. Discontent will rise. Or two days to provide shelter for people and, and feed them as well. Hope, hope will fall. So you can kind of pick one of these. Uh, so I'll do, I'll see everyone's needs, even though like hope is really not a big issue. I don't really want to make hunters, uh, hunter's hangers. And I'll just say, see everyone's needs. It's like the easiest thing for me to do. The arrival of so many starving people requires immediate action. We must feed and find homes for them as soon as possible. Uh, so yeah, we're now at the point where we're gonna have to make another place for homes for them. Uh, let's let's go make another infirmary somewhere here. Actually, it's like that. That'll be fine. But I'm gonna make. Let's see. Advanced steelworks to start. I shouldn't have done that first. Whatever. I'll, I'll, I'll just keep that in. So let's see. So we have only 27 people not housed right now, which is pretty good. That's a that's a good amount. That's why I've been making so much housing for them at the moment. Uh, I do want to make a additional. Oh man, there really isn't enough space for anything here. I don't even know if I would have enough space for something else here, but we'll see. Let's see, infirmary. There we go. That's nice. Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna give them a little bit of space over here somewhere. And I will make another, because we have to now make a bunch more space for, for them to come into here. These assholes. I swear. And we need a nice watchtower for them, obviously, because, uh, you know, propaganda or something. Alright, let's see. Cold homes, uh, we want to adjust this right now, because uh, it's only going to get worse, my friends, only going to get worse. So, Lords and regs, the starving lords have entered the city. The people are not happy about their with their arrival. The lords, on the other hand, are rejoicing. Thank you, kind people. We would have been doomed if you hadn't let us in. I see. So it's going to be a little bit, since you're, since you're already here, get to work. Damn. Let's do some formatting. I'm not sure if I, I may also need to get an additional place for them to go grab food from. This one may not be enough anymore. But I think it doesn't matter where I necessarily put it. Because I think I can just put it wherever and then they'll just grab it. And I will see. I don't think we have that many sick people either, so we're pretty good. Hey, they brought some engineers with them. Nice. Works for me. Probably, probably gonna need another killing now, without a doubt. Where's the killing I have? Yeah, it looks like it's not. Yeah, I can't. I can't put another one in here. That's a rather unfortunate. I could put it like a smaller building inside here. Yeah, I don't think this did anything. 
Yeah, it probably didn't. Alright, what's this guy doing? Coal and steam cores, majestic ocean liner rise above us as we approach the lowered gangway. Ice uh, surrounds from all sides. This liner brought in many rich people here. They could afford to travel in luxury even, th even in these desperate times. On the bridge, we found a letter from Lord Craven to the captain. It reads, If we encounter any of the vessels stolen by the workers, you are authorized to open fire. A naval gun crudely bolted to the foredeck confirms that, that he really did want us dead. Take resources. Coal and steam cores. What an asshole. I'm sure we won't be seeing him. Alright, let's get some more people. So so do, do they get to work as uh I guess they get to work as uh whatever they want to be. One second. Alright, so automatic researching, uh, prototyping. So I'm gonna go into I think I kinda want wall drills, but I need a, I need heating before that I think. I have a, I have coal lined up, so. So we get some steel here from the Hulks. Farewell to the ships. These ships saved our lives on many occasions. They carried us out of London before the storm arrived. They shielded us from Lord Craven's men. Finally, they brought us here. All we can do now is dismantle them for resources. All right, 85 steel. It's not a whole lot of steel, actually, for that. That's it. There's no more uh, scouting locations. We're done. Is up. Return your tools. There you go. And now they're all heated up, so... Go build some more tents. So, yeah, tent... Tent cities is name of the game, honestly. It's uh, gonna be the common theme here. It's kind of it's it's just kind of amusing that it's like you're effectively like uh, wait is there no one working on this thing? Oh yeah, there they are. Okay, I don't know why it wasn't like hovering on it. Just make a bunch of housing here. And I wasn't kidding when I said this is like a very like low amount of like everything, so. Captain, one of the lords is starving and begging you for additional food, rations for himself and his companions. So I can, I can, so you're starting to get into the, the bit of the class conflict going on here. So he goes, um, so he wants additional uh, food for him and his companions. We can give him 10 food, which will, discount will rise greatly. Give him one food ration, which is discount will rise slightly or send him away. We can give him one food ration because, you know, he only gets one. We have, to, we have to start going into the laws to deal with discontent, though. Well, I, I could probably start stop doing so much uh, working working hours actually as well. I want to I want to start probably getting rid of that, but we'll uh, we'll do that in a bit. All right. So adaption. Let's see what else we got. We got probably like the the bouts are pretty good too. There's also the patrol, which is. We'll reduce this discontent and raise hope for the for the guards. And then you get like a day day and twelve hours for that. Opposed to if I go down the fighting arena. Day and twelve hours, yeah. So no matter what, it's gonna be that. Um we'll do we'll do the we'll do the fighting arenas, because that's something to build. So we're gonna have to make them like everywhere. And I don't even care if they're like in like inside the cold, it doesn't matter. They're not gonna be in the cold for very long. The, the main thing is to just have them all be hooked up or whatever. Alright, that should do all of them, right? No, this one doesn't have one. So we're gonna do that. Hook them all up. Give them a nice bit of connections over here. I never feel like I have to hook up the... I know, I know it's cold in there, but like... Yeah, I, I don't know. I never feel like I have to do that. <laughs> it, it, it just like just having a little bit is just is enough for that. Good betting on fights is the best best thing to races. Exactly. That now this is the way to deal with the lords is you get them to beat each other up. That's it. Hungry and angry, Captain the Starving Lord was beaten by his companions. They didn't believe him when he said he only gave him one food ration. We sent him to the medical post. Whatever. He's getting beaten by his own kind. That's fine. Fighting ring has been established with cor according to law. Hope rises. So there you go. Now, now they're gonna be a little bit better now. Sabotage. Sir, an agitator has been vandalized. Someone has removed part of it and wrote stop squeaking all day on its base. Seems like not all the people want to work more efficiently. Catch or repair. So we can even say catch them and get uh, get the part back. People may get hurt or repair. I'm just gonna repair it. 
more strangers spotted. Captain, more, uh, more, uh, one more group of lords is marching in our direction. It's most likely not the last, I see. So how bad is our cold situation right now, yeah. So the discontent is mostly high right now because of the cold at home. That's that's primarily the reason for now why why it's so bad. There's a there's a couple of overtime works and stuff I can get rid of to do it. But you know, if I just if I just overheat the overdrive generator, that will also fix it. But yeah, this is something that it's it's just a part of the scenario, is you just have to deal with this. That was our housing situation. So probably right after this, I'm going to go right into after the heat, I'm going to go into probably housing and start that little project up because we actually have a lot of steel and everything. Advan oh, I didn't make another advanced steel works today. Let's do that right now. Alright, Lord's basic needs were failed. You managed to provide food and shelter for everybody. There's a lot of sick Lords right now. No time to wait. We've got work to do. So 15, I probably should go put throw down another place here for them, which I didn't want to do. I'm just debating where to put it. Uh, do I really need the kill in? It does have like a lot of heat though, doesn't it? Yeah, it's got like, it's building insulation is plus two. It's really good for that. How's our consumption? Yeah, not great. Uh, okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna delete that one. Which is gonna make it go a little bit worse, but we can... We have a bit saved up, so... I can either go into Coal Thumpers, or I can try and get the generator to use less power or something. Uh, 15% faster, but we have to collect it faster, too, in that case. I'm gonna try and go into the houses. I'm just, like, wondering... Actually, the Killens could be in a place over here somewhere. I don't, why are they not there? Because they're, they're not 24-hour buildings, so that's probably the best thing to do. What I might do is I might destroy one of these workshops and then put it over here instead. Actually, two of them is what I'll do. Radio mast. So the lords who arrived recently told us about a radio mast they saw on the trail. A steam core could be powering it. All right, let's see. Where's the radio mast? Uh, oh, yeah, we don't see it yet because I, I, I clicked it too fast. Radio mast is right there. All right. We'll let them come back. So that's one of the that's one of the advantages you do, you do get. You have to do things like that. Like you get some some rewards for it. So those two will work. Uh, let's see tech. Okay, this this does work. I could kind of put this on its on side here, and then I can go throw another one in. Must be adjacent to street. Yeah, there you go. There is enough space. For, uh, was there enough space for that one? One second. No, no, there isn't. Okay, so we could we could kind of fit it in still, which is fine. Let's have a look. Long hours of toil. I kind of want to do good idea for that pretty soon, but you can also force them to work if you want to, but I'm just not gonna address it. I'm not sure if force them to work actually has a negative effect. I actually forget. Usually I just don't care. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Next 24 hours. As much steel as we can, as well as some more wood here too. Bunkhouse. Okay, let's get into the house. Yep, we can make these guys work more. Here's our killing. And how's our wood? Yeah, there we go. So that that fixed our problems right there. So. I guess I didn't really need a. I guess I dealt with the sick, but still, I want to have. I want to have more than enough uh, stuff for uh, healing them. I, f I feel better about it if I if I have enough uh, infirmaries. Yeah, see, like how many sick are just like they're just popping in, but probably because they're eating more or less. I could go back to regular food rations too. That wouldn't be the worst thing either. You just ban the scats or send them out, so they brought some coal and everything in. We're gonna send them to the radio mast. But we have like 11 cores, so we actually have a lot to deal with that. Alright, there we go. We don't need him, so you can go disband. How many dead bodies do we have at the at the, the, the snow pit or whatever? And that sounds like something exciting. Six, yeah. So just six people died at that outpost. It's really weird. I don't know why. I think it, I... 
half me says bug, half me also thinks it's something else, but like like the the curse or something that they talked about. So we got we got a significant drop here. We could have like a lot more insulation upgrades and things like that too, so but I'm gonna do I'm gonna start with house redesign. Let's do also an additional foreman upgrade. Actually I'll just do two foreman upgrades, why not? I don't know, like I said, it's all good. Alright, so we got purpose and ad ad adaption. Public house wouldn't be that bad. Just realize that's usually I put it in the middle as well, and I just I just put a I just put another infirmary there. Just trying to think. In this harsh new world. Uh Hope we'll raise less less discontent. Eh, let's let's go for let's go for the, the goon squad. Let's go for patrols. So we can use that right now. So they will patrol the streets near their guard stations to uh, maintain law and order. You'll have to provide them with extra food for their efforts. So there you go. Effort, it all goes down. Is there like a like a like a crappy building here or something, or is it just like yeah? I guess I just it just wasn't awfully made, and that's kind of like the 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 pain point of this. And I guess we'll find out. I'll I'll just I'll just disassemble one of these. I'll try to make the public house. Watchdog. Sir, a, a child came to the guard station, gave the guardsmen a stuffed dog, telling them that they should take a uh, take them with them when they walk the streets at night. It seems that people appreciate the work um, uh, hard to to protect law and order in our city. Glad to hear that. See, like they they like they like fascism. <laughs> Come on, it's fine. All right, we got steel and steam cores from this one. Oh, there we go. We actually have more resources. So, Snowy Hill and Red Flag Camp. So, we got some more things to look at. So, oh yeah. We searched a shack under the bass. The radio equipment is gone, but we found a logbook. It's only confirmed that we already knew, but still, it was painful to read. Lennon knew about the coming winter well in advance. They didn't warn us. They only informed the rich we were left to die. Dark. We can we can we can also have two more another another scout coming out. Technically, I guess the play would always to be have a, to always have a scout out. I could also like try and rescue some of the the lords, but it doesn't matter. Let's let them come in. Sick lords are coming. Another group of lords will arrive here shortly. They, we know they're in poor health. Our people are worried. We managed to help the starving lords, but this is different. This, they, they might be carrying something contagious. I see. House redesign completed. All right, so the best thing to do would probably be infirmary. I kind of want to do more kill-in stuff, but I think we don't need it right now. I think employing fewer engineers would be probably better for us at the moment. And we're going to just start making a ton of houses. Of course, we start with the, the place that the lords are at, because I'm a dick. Alright. Sick lords are here. Captain, a large group of sick lords has just arrived. Most of them are seriously ill. They won't be able to work for days. It will overcrowd our medical facilities. What should we do? So again, you can send them away, but we can say, yeah, we have two days to heal 104 people. Hope will fall, or I'll improve it. So we have two days to open four new places of treatment. I'm just going to say our healthcare can handle it, because I did make a lot of healthcare stuff for that. Treat the lords. Rebel with so many sick puts our city in danger. We must treat them all as soon as possible. I guess I shouldn't have destroyed that one thing I just had. I guess I'm, I'm dumb. I guess I shouldn't have done that. Well, we'll do that right now. But we'll we'll be able to do it. Sick but proud. The sick lords are among us now, but our people try to stay as far away from them as possible. This is rubbed the sun lords the wrong way. They look at us with such disgust and contempt when one of them complains between the bits of coughing. Our dignity is not diminished just because we're sick. See? And that, that would be the kind of thing that they would be doing to us, though, you see? They would be totally doing that to us if we were still in London, you know? And that's the thing you have to kind of think about. Oh man, we might have to make another place with housing, or probably just get the range upgrade actually on it. Alright, so those are done. Let's get some more guys in here. House. Upgrade already underway. Let's see. Let's get uh, two people out of here. Into that. We probably will need another uh, infirmary. 
I guess I did have to make more of them after all. Problem is, this is not in generator range, so... Destroy my life. And they're gonna complain because they don't have enough, uh, temperature. But that's fine, I'll just- I'll just throw down a temporary steam hub right over here. Now there's a problem with doing kill-ins, because I actually just don't have enough for the housing, either. It's also the part of the problem here. We're, we're trying to make more housing for our guys here, but for our good old friends. This is the most value point I've ever gotten in, like, some of this stuff, actually. Like, that, like, that, like the, ho the cheaper housing is so good. Dangerous rumors. So Captain, some people are spreading wild stories about our sick lords. They said they're, they're contagious, and if we don't keep them away from them, we'll soon be all sick as well. Everyone's on edge. Ignore the rumors, which discontent goes up, or silence them. People will get hurt. We ignore the rumors. I actually should have been doing overdrive, so lots of people get sick, but I'm an idiot and, didn't, and forgot to do that, so. Uh, there's, there's survivors at this camp here. All right, red flag camp. Let's go explore. Dying wish. A red flag, actually a duvet case, flies over the most pitiful camp we've ever seen. I'm glad to see you, although you wish we'd met sooner, Crooks, one of the lords. I regret that we... I can only implore you to give us a proper burial. We're dying and we have chosen not to fight anymore. Please, respect our request. Save them against our will. Try to bring them to our city. But you can also get them killed. So I'm going to bring them anyways. And there's another one here. Our search hasn't uncovered anything of value, but there may be some more promising locations. We're abandoned sawmill and snowcats. So we'll go there to start. We're definitely going to need some more range upgrades because we have like a lot of people coming in. No time to waste. We've got work to do. We need to at least put them inside of uh, medical buildings. All right, what's the problem now? More strangers spot uh, spotted. Captain, one or more groups of the lords are, are uh, heading in our, our direction. So day eighteen hours left for that one. But we're we're slowly upgrading everything to what we kind of need to here. This is actually one of the advantages, I guess, of having the uh, wood be converted into coal, but I probably don't need so much of it, now I think about it. I'm going to probably turn that one off. How's our coal consumption doing then? Not great, but we have a lot saved up, so probably, you know what, not actually a big deal. So, we got that one done. I think the next play to do here... I think we need coal upgrades, or actually advanced wall drill. We've been having trouble with wood, actually. We have all the steel works and everything, so... An angry rant. Sir, our guards report that a man is giving an impassioned speech to a small crowd, accusing you of scheming to enslave us all. Our captain is trying to keep you content, ignorant, and under our control. Remember New Poor Law, the workhouses? That's, not, that's how we live now. We're supposed to work and be quiet, but it's not too late. So I could say, let him speak, it's his right, or he's lying, chase him away. So I'll just, I'll just let him speak, I don't care. He'd be discontent for all I care. And we have actually a lot more free people now, now that we, uh, we did that one law that, uh, well, we did the research for the, basically increasing the infirmaries, which is really good. Let's see, houses. And th there we go, we're officially out of, uh, wood now. Oh, there's good, some wood here, we'll take that. So there's probably an outpost here years ago, there's nothing left of it, but this frozen, uh, Salma, we'll take the resources. We kind of need that for the housing we're trying to make right now, so... Alright, scouts have returned back. They brought a bunch of stuff with them. I don't think there's anything else I particularly need, so... I'll just ban them. Survivors so reach city. Group has uh, reached the city. They're tired, but they need a place to rest. Perhaps a bite to eat and some medical attention. But they're ready to lend a hand if they can. Well, we don't really have that problem. We have 577 people. So, I could throw down, like, an another, like, uh, what's it called? another thumper or something, which is, like, definitely what you can do. I just decided to do the killings just because. But, like, you know, the killings just d don't seem worth it, to be honest to me, still. I don't know, I don't really like killings, because wood is, like, still a scarce resource for me, so... I might turn them both off, actually. <laughs> I might go- I might go throw another one up here, just to have a- what's it called? A place for them to do... Steam Coal Thumper, because I actually have enough space here. Invalid placement location, excuse me. Oh, because there's an like, actual coal patch there, that's why. Alright, fine. I'll throw another one down, because, like, I gotta do something about this, so... Let's see, gathering posts. Let's see, order, agitator, yeah, boy. And we can do a gathering post somewhere. 
It was, it was, they're not worth it to me. I don't know. I tried and I'm just like, I'm just looking at my, my, my wood problems. I'm just like every time. I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm gonna just disassemble them too. Lords have been treated. You kept your promise and treated everybody. Awesome. I'll probably throw down some housing here too. Because I actually just need a bit more. Oh, uh, well, I'm sorry. I want re resource posts first. Gathering posts. One, two, three, four. Got plenty of room. Uh, do we have enough for a wall drill yet? No, we don't. I don't even have enough for research, really. Alright, another law. Let's see. So we kind of finished everything in the order tree. You could do prison if you want to. I, and I don't think that caused a problem, but we don't really need that. It's like, uh, yeah, it's more of like a new London thing, I guess. Uh, or yeah, Londoners kind of deal. So I'm going to go down more along the lines of public house. Listen, everyone. New law is signed. All right, so cowardly attack. Sir, a few lo sick lords have been attacked and brutally beaten by unknown assailants. One of them had to undergo an amputation. Uh, these, uh, these attackers accuse the lords of spreading a horrible, incurable disease. I see. Well, when I'm had to get amputated, unfortunately, but I'm not even going to bother with the laws for it. Who cares? Let's just leave them be. Like, we have so many children here to work in the coal mines. It's awesome. All right. And I don't have any more space for any more housing at the moment. Steel and steam cores. Explore the snow cap. So the front of the snow cap was completely destroyed. Inside we found two frozen bodies, uh, some supplies and a family photo and a letter from London. It ends, the worst cold is yet to come, but they don't say when. I wish our daughters and I were safe in the north with you already. And that's it. It's kind of funny how like the, yeah, the north was considered like really safe uh, for a lot of people because you know, you think of like, oh, that's the colder place to be. <laughs> but apparently not in this case. So. All right, let's get all the kids over here. I probably, uh, yeah, I was going to say, maybe I shouldn't be doing discontent here with uh, workers, but I guess it don't, don't matter, really. Okay, we can flip off overdrive now. So, how many sick do we have? We have 50 sick. That's fine. I might, what I do, what I might do right now is I might do gathering post installation as we wait for everything else to be made. Or no, I want, I want steam hub upgrades actually. How are we doing for coal? Yeah, we're doing fine. It's, it's still gonna be like, oh, actually no, it's fine, because I, I got the other thumper going, so that's all I needed. Come lads, we must work harder. I could get the, I can remove these last two. I'll be fine. I might, what I might do is I might put them, replace them over here, but I'm, I'm just going to remove them for now. Let's get the foreman on the uh, other building there. I need, I need, I really do need some wood. That's, it is, it is, it is a significant problem. I can't get enough wood. Even with the outpost, that's the, that's the crazy part. Even with the outpost, it doesn't matter. I could do a sawmill too, but I don't know. I don't really feel I need to. Indignant woman. Sir, our guards have reported this woman for attacking them on patrol. She was cursing them and hitting them with her fist when they brought her in. I would have come myself, the woman said. These swine have been pestering me all day in, day out. I'm sick of it. They say um, they say I need to check if everything's in order, but it's just an excuse for them to make advantage. Advances. So I can punish her, hope will fall. Reprimand the guards, hope will rise slightly. Or skip this district on patrol. Hope will rise, using patrol will, uh, will have less, less effect. So I'll just say reprimand the guards. So, uh, we'll just reprimand them. We'll do more patrols, actually. Alright, scouts have re returned safely, and that would be the last one. We will have to put, throw a couple more houses down. But I am doing the range upgrade, right, right now? No, I'm not. Oh, no, I already finished it. Okay, that's different. And some of these I will not bother with that, because, like, look at our consumption. It's, like, through the roof right now, so... Uh, this one could be one as well. But the rest of these, I might keep these on. Uh, not this one, but maybe this one I'll put on. Oh, this one could be six. Because it, I did just raise the range of this slightly. I also need to make a public house in a moment. It's mostly the heater I want them to be in, but yeah.
I'm just gonna squeeze them in in certain places. That's what we'll do. The 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 fact that it's using a little bit more power now, it's 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 actually not a huge issue. Or sorry, a little bit more. It's not it's not using power. Sorry, it's using using generator or coal now for these. But I I I'm pretty confident it will be okay. So not all these guys will be affected by guard posts, but that's okay. We're just gonna let them let them be. And yeah, these ones need a little bit as well. I would like to put throw down a. Uh, yeah, what I'll probably do is I'll put the I'll put the public house here, maybe, and then I'll put two of the infirmaries over here. Well, actually, hold up. Before I get too carried away, the question is, would it actually fit there? It's unlikely. Is it a health thing? What was what was the public house count as? People? Yeah, there it is. No, <laughs> no way. Yeah, I, I I figured that out right away. All right, so let's go resources. Uh, let's see, health. I will put two infirmaries here instead. Let's see, how much more time do we have for this going down? Like the laws. We'll do, that was a pleasure too. And moonshine doesn't really have any effect for us because you know reasons. Well, because we didn't do we didn't do moonshine law, so we didn't bother with it. It's all good. Advanced wall drill. We'll wait until it's done for today. That guy's not hooked up either. All right, that's it. Advanced wall drill. Put that up. So. Uh, I will have to shut 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 these off and just use them whenever we get enough. Uh, if there's if there's gonna be more, basically lords coming uh, and they need the healthcare, then we'll use it then. But I'll keep these off for now. And with the adjustments I made to the generator, the consumption is now back to normal. So, the last thing we can do to basically make it like much better is just to essentially. Uh, oh yeah, so this doesn't reset the foreman, even though it's, it's a new building. Lord Craven is coming. Captain, more than, uh, one one or more of the lords, uh, a group of lords is on the way. Rumor has it that Lord Craven is with them. The lord that ordered our ships to be shot at. Our people are, are unmoved. We've dealt with the other lords so far. Well, I'll deal with this one too, one way or another. I see. All right, let's go toss down the public house. There it is. And just houses. How many, how much free housing does that count? Is that, we, I put down like three, okay, we should have enough and that should be, that's a hundred people, God. it's a lot of people. We'll have to, uh, we'll definitely have to make something happen for that. Unfortunately, I think what, I honestly think when I bring the scouts in, that, that doesn't help the situation actually. But yeah, let's get the rest of these as houses. Lord Craven is here. Captain, more than 40 children led by a few men have gathered outside our city. They want to be let in, but Lord Craven is with the group. What should we do? Let the men all contain the rest or send them away. So we will contain the social unrest. So real guy, powerless and terrified. A few of the lords heard, uh, a, sorry, a few lords heard a large group of kids in the city. Lord Craven is with them. He looks around visibly frightened. He has lost all his powers at the mercy of our people. The children are unusually quiet. Most of them are orphans, says the lords leading them. Resolve con uh, class conflict. The old and new amana, uh, um, um, uh, um, uh, um, <laughs> whatever, between the lords have our people will make a co a coexistence very difficult. To predict the future of our city, you must contain the social unrest quickly before it escalates. Sounds good. So you have to bring the discontent down, and we also have to deal and uh, keep hope at a certain level. So the best way to do that is actually to go back and, and actually just remove a lot of that working or stuff like we're it's just it's literally just overtime at this point that that's causing it so so there's a couple of other laws we can sign to make it a little bit better and that's it overcrowded medical facilities as well it doesn't exactly help so we got 27 housing needed so let's try and figure out a place maybe i'll just put them over here I could make this into a 24 hour one, potentially. Yeah, I would rather not, though. Uh, actually, we, we have enough for just, we just need two more houses. Yeah, I'll make it 24 hours, I don't care. There shouldn't be any more people coming in anymore, so that should be the last bit, so. We'll just leave this one to 24 hours. And then, uh, yeah, we have enough, we have enough. 
bullet everything anyways. Okay, that's it. We don't need any more wood or anything. Uh, the thing I'll do is I'll get a generator efficiency upgrade to go with it. We'll probably start kicking these down to regular working hours. Because we, we just don't need these anymore. I think it should be fine now. That one I'll keep. That that one I'll keep on the 24 hours, and these two, yeah, these these ones have already reduced. The so consumption has gone down slightly, but it's still just good enough. And with the with the upgrades, it should definitely be good enough. So now now the discontent is yeah, there's a little bit more here. The thing is, I think if I if I think if I just end it right now, I think what will happen is you guys won't see the co class conflict that goes on. So, I mean, maybe, maybe we'll just give it a nice like hard save. Cause I think I think that's all you have to do is I think you just have to deal with it. Keep stay in charge, in at least one day. Oh yeah, so you have to do it within three days, fourteen hours. So, <laughs> so we have to wait for a day anyway. So, but you can resolve it pretty fast. You just got to do a bunch of stuff that like makes them happy really fast. A lynch mob, Captain. An angry mob has gathered. They outraged by the Lord of the rebel of Lord Craven. They want his head. He'll pay for what he did to our people. He wants his dead, so death is what he'll get. So you can either stop them or let them proceed. Lord Craven will get fucking lynched. Wow. All right. So this option does not show up. I think if you don't have either faith guards or the uh, watchtowers. So I'm gonna tell him to stop. Cause, uh, God, that guy does not deserve that. All right, I will throw these ones on too. On, on, 24 hours. Let's see. So we can get, got some overdrive couplings and some other stuff we can do. Let's see. Coal thumper um, ejectors wouldn't be bad. We don't really need food still. How, house insulation? Eh, wouldn't be bad. Look around what's what's uh, kind of good now. So yeah, I, I didn't even use the killing still. It, it just like, thumpers are just so good. I, I kind of tried to, but it's just like uh, the wood is just not as plentiful as I'd like it to be. So uh, generator efficiency too. Eh. I'll, I'll get some, I'll get some insulation for the houses. Except I don't really need it, but you know, it's, it is what it is. Now the thing that we might need is we might need more food actually consumption. Why does it think that? Oh, I think it's because our my my storage. Oh uh, yeah, because they're not doing anything. How's our food doing? We haven't actually checked that in a long time. Yeah, that's starting to go down. We are actually gonna need to do something about that. Hunter's huts. Actually, I won't bother with that. In fact, actually, probably the amount of food I have here is probably enough for the rest of the day. What are, what are we doing right now? Yeah, this is such a worthless upgrade. Actually, let's do flying hunters. All right, let's see. Quarrel in the cookhouse. Captain, a lord is arguing with some of our people who said he was trying to cut in line. He claims a noble birth entitles him to be served first. So you can support the lord, which means discount will rise. Support our people, the lord will get hurt, or send our people to get come down. The conflict, uh, so sending our men is, again, that's a watchtower or faith guards thing. So send them to what to go down. Now, the, I, we, we haven't quite got to the point where it we need to basically, well, nobody's dying from these situations, uh, besides the couple of people that died in that outpost, which I'm very sad about. Where was my body spit? Yeah, we're still at six. So people aren't dying from this, but it is a little bit like, yeah. All right, I, unsolicited advice. Captain, Lord Craven has left our city. He asked us to pass a note to you. I owe my life to you and for that I am grateful. Uh, things have clearly changed. You are in charge now and I am not. That means you will become like me. Mark my words, power corrupts. Great men are always uh, bad men. I would know I was both, I see. So he's technically dead, I guess, but he left our city, right? And if you don't, if you, uh, like I said, the other option is he basically dies. <laughs> so it's one or the other. You, you basically don't get much of a choice with regards to that, but yeah. I'm gonna put another cookhouse down because I think where people are, are hungry. But that's, that's why you have to do the faith, uh, the either faith guards or order in this case. So I'm gonna just leave this open. Just give me another place for them to grab meals from. Because I think there's a limit of like 500 people that can go to a cookhouse. And we have 
600 or something, so just having another place is good. Class conflict resolved. You did it. The social unrest has been eased. We are on the right path to ending the uh, uh, enmity between our people and the lords. Okay. We've solved it. There wasn't many other uh, events that you get. There's a few more, I think, but like maybe one or two. But those are the primary ones. Class conflict, we're e equal. We've let everyone in and started to build a world where people are not judged by their social class, but their actions. We hope that the memory of the uh, amity will, will, between our people, will soon for, uh, <laughs> amenity will, will soon f fade away. For the first time, we have a chance to stand united. Well done. And that's it. We won. So like I said, the, the last part was, was not difficult. It's that first survival part. And snowballing is just ridiculous. I wonder if I cross the line. I, I shouldn't have crossed the line, but we'll see. So yep, that was the that was actually the good ending. Uh, if if just those six people didn't die at the outpost, we would have been like a hundred percent on that one. Uh, but that was like the best possible outcome you can get out of that. So Craven always leaves. He doesn't die though. Uh, I mean, he's assumed he's gonna die, but you know, at least he didn't get lynched, I guess, and uh, some other stuff. So uh, we will go back to refugees, these nuts, and. Uh, we will go and do the do the next one. So we did save it at that key point, and we're kind of back to here at this point. So you kind of understand why I've been like saving so much resources effectively here. So we get to we get to we get to try everything again. So what where was I le leaving off at? Yeah. So we got Van Steelworks, and a good reason for that. Uh, <laughs> now I have to remember what tech I was that. It's great. Uh, but yeah. So I think we start to. I think I was rushing down to. The power, I think, is what I was doing. So we'll uh, we'll let that we'll let that sink in there. Oh, yeah, we we have a lot of stuff. So, so back to here. We have the lovely lords that come back, and they're saying, "Okay, they're here. They're here." This is the alternate timeline. There's no canon for this, so I think it's whatever you want to do. There might be a canon in Frostpunk too. We'll see, but yeah. So lords and rags. Uh, so you can say. So they're coming, they're, they're coming, they're starving. There's at least a hundred of them, hundred more coming. They beg us to let us in. That means sharing our food supplies and finding them shelter. And then we send them away. So this is the alternate scenario where, where you can decide to, good, we don't need them here. We can tell them just F off. And the Lords have set up camp. Captain, the Lords have, uh, that you've ordered to leave have set up camp outside the city. We don't know what they're up to. So my two scouts are currently out and about, so we'll be able to check that out a little bit later uh, to see what they're up to. As the agitator shouts in German at me. Okay, we got some coal and steam cores. Uh, so again, the the luxury liner brought people here. This is where we learned that they they equipped it with a gun to open fire on us. So maybe, maybe this is just poetic karma or something, you know? Just leave them out in the cold. I don't, I don't know, like, you know, you don't feel good about it, you know, kind of in this situation, because, you know, you could help them. We could very well help them, you know, but we're not. We're just going to leave them to die. 
and we got the steel as well. Farewell to ships, they said to us on many occasions. Okay, we can head back with them too. So we won't get the alternate path with the additional steam cores, but I had way too many, I didn't need them anyways. Uh, we won't address the cold homes problem. They're gonna just have to deal with it. So the the way this event works now is that they will still they will still come. They're still gonna come on their little uh, the little the, they're gonna they're gonna come and we're gonna just turn them all away to see what it went. Let's see where it goes. So ensuring safety for the patrol, sure. Hear me, hear me. New law in the city. No, we got we got plenty of food and everything here. Uh, let's see. Free time. I need to do the events too works. Oops. Oh, there's a ton of events happening now. Sabotage. Just repair it. We did that event already, so we already know. Four stranger coming, and it's not likely the last. So remember, we're not letting anyone in, so we're just uh, we're just telling them to go away. Telling them we hate them. They can go screw themselves. But my plan is here, I'm going to probably form in these as well. I kind of like the, the, the not peaceful ending to this whole situation. I, I find it to be kind of amusing as well. So, well, you, you guys will get to see. You guys will see. I, I like this one too. I Personally, like, morality-wise, I don't know where I kind of lean on this, because, like, they are kind of dicks, you know, for what they did. And I, I feel like there's some, like, karma and that, that goes on with this, but, you know. Request raid. So the lords you didn't let in uh, have, re <laughs> have returned with a request. You seized your janitor, you didn't let us in, and you left us with nothing. Uh, have some decency and give us enough food and witches for the next few days. So we could give them what we want, discontent will rise, just give them food, or he's sending them away, which I will send them away. Whatever. We're gonna go, we're going all in on this, okay? We're going in on the all in, okay? Uh, let's see. So we got janitor power upgrade. What else should we get? Uh, I guess the wall drill would be important. I kind of need to do the housing just like I had last time go on. I'm thinking about it though. Uh, you know, I have a lot of wood. Let's uh, let's let's start going down that path. Vandalized uh, agitator has been repaired. There's a watchdog. So this is the dog uh, one where he's giving it to the watchdog guy. I'm, I'm so glad everyone's so happy in the city. We just left like a hundred people out there to starve, you know. Troublemaker. One of our men, a known troublemaker, is loudly supporting your decision not to help the lords. It was the right thing to do. Give a man an inch and he'll take a mile. But this isn't over. They'll be back. And mark my terms, they won't be asking nicely. Mark my words, I see. This is when this is when the Frostpunk uh, RTS component starts out, so... We gotta micro, micro workers and uh, discontented workers and uh, deal with them. Deal, deal with the, the guys. Alright, let's do housing. Because we have that temperature drop coming in pretty fast here, so... Pretty good otherwise, so... We'll, we'll see We'll see what the lords are up to, though. We'll, 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 we'll check them out. But it's a lot of people that come in. It, it literally doubled the size of our city, actually, because we're at like 337, so... We can send them back out, so let's go check them out. Let's see the lords camp. Alright, these ones have returned too. I can just disband this one. How's our coal situation? Oh, it won't tell us because, yeah. I'm gonna form in these ones. Oh, we're gonna definitely need some more, uh, some more resource depots. <laughs> I had filled this up pretty much all the way <laughs> before. I just looking at this now, I'm like, damn. Yeah, I guess we can get another infirmary down. No time to waste. We've got work to do. We had we had this much space for them before, so so there's some survivors here. So the camp was built with very limited resources. The tents are small and ragged; they won't last long. So from a safe distance, we can see the crowds of people here. Most of them are hungry and exhausted, but we shouldn't get too close. There's no telling what these people could do. We did turn our backs on them after all. Keep an eye on them. And that's it. All right, let's get some more steel, some more wood. All right, we got all that. All right, so we got a new law, and we can... So, nothing else in order to really get. We don't really need the prison, so... 
Uh, so we can go back to finding Arena because that was what we were doing kind of last time. I don't bother with bunk houses. I just don't. I just don't care for bunk houses. Call me, call me weird, but I just, I don't know. I never, I never liked bunk houses. I always feel like you can get to the point where you get like much better things, anyways. All right. I don't bother. I don't think there's any scenario where I've ever made bunkhouses. Like every, like it's just, I would rather get another like generator upgrade, just man it out with coal and that's it. So I'll just leave this guy here because we'll, we'll probably go check out more guys in a bit. We don't even need the healing really at all anyways. An angry rant. Sir, our, guard, our, our guards reported that man is giving an impassioned speech to a small crowd accusing of scheming to enslave us all. Our captain tried to keep you... This is the same event. I'm not sure why it happened here, because I'm, I'm not letting the lords in. But I'll let him speak, because... Libertarian city. This is Libertarian Bill. Even though we didn't let the people in, I guess. So. Fighting Arena Belt, they're okay with it. Good old Libertarianism. They get to work on their own cult. Sick lords are approaching. Another group of lords will arrive shortly. We know that they're in poor health. Okay. The same deal as before. We can also do another little event here. Oh, right, right. We can start doing the house redesigns. Even though we technically don't really need to actually do that right now. Rest time. Work is done for the day. I'll do it anyways, just because. All right, sick lords are here. Captain, a group, large group of sick lords have arrived. Most of them are seriously ill. They won't be able to work for many days and will overcrowd the medical facilities. What should we do? Send them away. Out, be gone. Sick lords have set up camp. The lords uh, who we sent away have set up camp outside the city. We don't know what they're up to. I see. All right, let's do that. Go check them out. I mean, these events are kind of cool to see. I like, I like, I like seeing this. This is like, uh, so the for this LP, this is the first time I've ever actually done the event chain where I sent them away. I usually just always let them in because I, I like. I don't know, I like to be helpful, I guess, you know. Food thief. Captain, our men have caught a, a man who tried to steal food in and, and the cookhouse. They came from the Lord's camp. They said they are starving there. So we can let him go, or we need a place for such people, which is to make a prison. I'm not sure what you do if you get... I guess it's public penitence. It would be the, uh, would be the one if you did faith, but I'm going to just let him go. They'll be mad, but whatever. Might go do the... All right, so there's survivors in our Lord's camp. The people in this group are obviously unwell. Some of them are hostile. We dare not enter the camp after we banish them from our city. Keep an eye on them. All right, head on back. I probably need to go give it like some more. I guess I also should do like uh, overdrive on the generator. I'm not sure why I didn't, wasn't doing that. All right. I'll just keep him outside, because uh, there's that last group, as you know. I'm not even spoiling it for you. You know there's a last group. I'll just form in two of these. A troublemaker incites the people. A troublemaker is talking to the crowd. He's arguing about the lords will be more brazen if we don't do something. Once a thief, always a thief. Mark my words, the lords won't let us live in peace until we deal with them. We have to protect our city. Discontent will rise. All right. More strangers spotted. So that's the last group that's coming in. And we'll go see what they're up to. Alright, we got the house redesigned now. Let's have a look. Alright, so... I'm gonna go into... So I've already done... Steelworks. I guess I don't really need the the, the wood. Uh, I'll, I'll make the wall drill anyways. I don't feel like this is gonna be worth it though. But maybe... I don't know. We'll, we'll, might as well, right? I can... I can make the steelworks work faster. Alright, fine. Let's make some houses. Yeah, I guess I made a lot of houses, didn't I? Because <laughs> even even with doing all that, I uh, I still have uh, 13 available. We just have way too many people, so... All right, let's have luck. An indignant woman, she's the one who's talking about the patrol. I would have came in myself, and I will reprimand the guards. Because, come on, we're not monsters here, are we? We're nice people. We're nice people. House. Or upgrade oriented. Alright. 
We have to just make sure they have enough uh, for the last of the night. Advanced wall drill, I will let them work one more little while here. There you go. Actually, we're getting, we're getting the, the, these done a lot better now, actually, than we did the last time, so... We're actually okay. Alright. And we can do now public house. There we go. Maybe we should do dueling wall, so we can just do all the... Uh, do all the lords. 1v1 me. This will be good. All right, okay, and let's get the house. There you go, public house done. Okay, I'm gonna turn off the generator now. You got a good bit of housing now. Like, it's it's basically all good now, so. There it is. Damn, it's a really thick house. I was gonna say some lords. So we're just making houses while they're just in shanty tents outside, you know? Whatever, screw them. I don't, I, do, they, what did they ever do for us? Let's, let's be fair. All right, I'll do infirmary uh, stuff for this now. So consumption of coal is basically right on the right on the money there, but we're not gonna make any more coal facilities because you know we we prefer to fuck over the lords than anything else. So. This this is the path we've chosen. And I think that's it. We have everything on houses now. Yep, nothing else that can be upgraded. Alright, we can get some more people into here, and... Well, what else do we make? I don't even know. I guess uh, some efficiency upgrades would, would be in order, so we'll kind of do that one. Oh, that's not one. Oh, alright, right, this one. Alright, it's House of Pleasure. So that's why you get actually a good like timing window to basically bank all the houses, I think, before the temperature gets really bad. So we're going to get another drop, but we have like tons of temperature now. So Lord Craven is coming. Uh, the nice man who shot at us when we were in our fancy boats. We will tell him exactly how we feel. It's a strongly worded letter. Policing streets. A group of drunk men was disturbing the peace, pushing each other, screaming obscenities, and harassing women on the street. Our guards intervened and restrained the drunks before anyone was hurt. Let them sober up or punish them. We'll just let them uh, sober up. <laughs> Why would hope rise for that? I don't even know. Get delinquents on the street. Oh, Lord Clarion is here with all the children. Send him away. So, lords are waiting outside the city. They are now a constant danger to the peace and order here. We need to have men on the lookout for them. We need to build guarded outpost depots to protect the city. So you get you have to build man two two guard stations for some reason. I don't know why. Like, can I just like? Undo these. Now I have to build two new ones. That's what I have to do. Okay. I was wondering about that. Alright, tech. Let's have a look. Um, so, y you get these guarded outposts um, depots. I can finish the scenario right now if I wanted to. Because I've been accumulating all, that, all those resources because I kind of know that. But just for the fun of it, I figure let's just, let's just see what happens. <laughs> Let, let's just let's just let's just let the scenario play out kind of thing and I'm not gonna go to the, the I, I'm kind of roughly aware of what happens, but you know, we'll, we'll just have some fun uh, Let me see how many housing do, houses do we have? I'm just gonna destroy two houses and just because I want to have it in a heat zone So I do have to make two additional guard posts though So we'll just destroy two of them make two additional guard posts So like I said, I, I can totally make it but it's just like what's the point fun in that so I'll make one of them and they're apparently just armored uh, guard depots, so like, it has a giant tower on it, as you can see. It's been modified for quick access of order for forces to watch over the city. No one will be able to approach without being spotted. In addition, it can ma uh, it can manage and receive resources from outpost teams, just like a regular outpost depot. So, because they would get, like, I guess raw food or something? I don't, I don't even know. Out of that, so. So we'll throw down two two additional houses and that's uh, two additional workplace towers and that's it. So we have an entire that says two out of four. I see. All right. So we've done that thing that it wants. Long arrows of toil. Won't address this. Don't care. Right, we can do some more events here. I guess I have to turn down all the depots because they all get upgraded and that's really annoying. Where are they at? One. One. 
Because otherwise that will eat all my coal. I think it's all of them. There you go. And now we're back to now we're back to normal with our consumption. There you go. So yeah, they just have like a little guarded thing. Can I even see it? I guess I can't. Oh yeah, you can see the little tower on it. But we're gonna just wait on the other one. We have three days to do it, so we can see what happens. I'll just do it at the end. Is there another Where's Lord Craven's camp? Why is he not gonna camp? He's a spy. He's just like in the city or something. I don't know where the hell he is. But now there's like no sickness at all because we have a bunch of houses and a lot of a lot of uh, insulation now. So, and we and of course of course this the the other stuff here, thieves thieves. Wake up wake up! They're stealing from us. What's that noise? What's going on? Lords raid the stockpiles. Captain, the lords have raised our, ra raided our stockpiles. They're heading towards the camp with stone supplies. We'll stop them. So we can, we can, we can say let them be, but we'll see if we can stop them. Let's have a look. Where are they at? Oh, we haven't even stopped them yet. Where are they? Where are the events? I want to stop them. It's our supplies. They can't have them. We caught some of the lords, Captain. Our guards caught the uh, caught the lords who raided our stock stockpiles and retrieved the stone supplies. What should we do with the sleeves? Kill them. We can let them go, or we need a place for such people. We can build the prison. I mean, we could go for the prison. I don't mind. Fine. We need a place. We need a prison, guys. This is important. I didn't make a prison before, but we're gonna make it now. So it wants us to make a prison for this. You see, if I had just won this scenario, we wouldn't be getting this this masterful, absolute bonkering of the uh, of these guys. All right. Kind of want to put it over here. I don't know. Do I need? I don't think I really need this many. Uh, I don't need this many infirmaries or whatever. So, so you have efficiency. Yeah, we're pretty good. So we can go into some other stuff like uh, infirmary checklist or something. I guess. Yeah, let them heal faster. I need to do that last time. So, time for prison. All right, let's see. People want revenge. Captain, the troublemaker is inciting our people against you. They want revenge on the lords for the recent theft. I warned you that these vermins would be back for more. It's time we taught them a lesson. If our leader won't do anything, we'll take matters into our own hands and show them who's in charge here. I see. No, no, I made a prison. What are you guys complaining about? Prison is open. You prove your promise of increased safety and order wasn't just hollow words. So this is, uh, you can do a roundup. So you can round up on wrongdoers and put them in prison. They'll go after the discontented, dissidents, and other troublemakers. Prisoners will be returned to society after four days. If you want to reduce uh, discontent, but the, probably the patrol is better. So we'll uh, we'll let that go. So I'll, I'll I'll do both endings. Why not? Let's let's just do both of them. I don't see a reason not to. Well, just like what I'll do is I'll I'll let I'll let this fail actually uh, for one of them, and that's it. We'll just we'll just check it out. Why not? It's kind of fun. So we'll do some more uh, insulation here. So we're just kind of gonna pass the time. That's it. Why would they be discontented? They have their own ho they have their own houses and everything instead of the tents. Fault in the system. A man was protesting in front of the prison, screaming at the top of his lungs about the abuse of our uh, paternity system. Who are they locking up? Uh, no one so far. Or actually the lords, right? Why is he complaining? But anyways. He yells at the passerbys. Criminals or innocent people who dare speak up. Think about it. What should we do with them? Arrest him for rowdiness or ignore him. I'm going to just ignore him. I mean, nobody is in the prison, though. Oh, wait. There is prisoners. What? Why are there prisoners in here? <laughs> And we, we, we locked up a lot of engineers for some reason. What the hell were they doing? I don't know, I don't know why there's so many in here, but yeah. I guess we don't really need to... I guess there isn't another place to explore here, so... I guess I'll, I guess I'll bring them back into the city. Let's do that. Disband them. Bring them back in. So like I said, we have enough for that guarded de depot. I just... Um, I'm just like just waiting it out so it's kind of fun just to see the events too so i'm just like yeah i i, I don't know like i said I, I don't do it enough so this kind of thing so uh, let's get some some heat efficiency upgrades even though we're pretty good oh uh, the cook has are definitely gonna need some uh heaters or something i mean i could just give it coal all the time I mean, there's a cookhouse insulation upgrade, like, over here, which is, like, really, really easy to get. 
Alright, what's going on now? Long guards of toil, don't care. Actually, I could try to force them to work thing. People want weapons. Captain, our people say they feel threatened by lords. They ask for resources to manufacture makeshift weapons. Maybe a show of force will be enough to keep them away, says a grizzled engineer. If they don't get the message, we'll repeat it more forcefully. So we can give them resources or send them away. So I will give them resources. Of course we'll give them stuff for weapons. Of course we'll do that. Why would we not? Alright, cookhouse installation completed. Eh, what else do we do now? I guess like heating upgrades, I guess. Right, why not? So it's pretty good here. So probably at about a day, I'll, I'll finish the I'll finish I'll finish the last one, and then uh, and then what I'll do is I'll reload it and I'll we'll try we'll try and see what happens if they uh, kind of come through and uh, actually get kind of get what they want. So I don't think it ends negatively for us. I'll say, oh shit, moonshine, sign me up. I certainly hope they enjoy liquor in moderation. Clearly, you've never drank in anything in your life. Alright, we'll give it a nice hard save here. Yeah, alright. So let's let's go add the... So, the first thing I'll do is I'll, I'll finish the episode with the... Uh, or finish the scenario with just the... Where is it at? Is it resources or... Damn, I have a lot of buildings here. Is it tech? I think it's tech. Yeah, it's tech. Okay. So we'll we'll finish up we'll finish it up with the the last um, the last uh, outpost depot that I wanted me to build as if I had made it on time. So we built enough defenses. The lords will never threaten us again. Our city is safe. People will return to their duties with relief. Okay. Dealing with the neighbors, they are out there. <clears throat> we separated ourselves from the lords, and they are now gone. They set out towards the mountains and look for a place of their own. Will they return? No one knows for sure. We didn't reach out to them when we had the chance, and now we don't know what to expect from them. We only hope that when the time comes for their, uh, our next encounter, we'll be prepared for the, uh, every eventuality. We did what had to be done. I really hope they do have a reference to some of these things in Frostbug 2. That would be really cool. I'm really looking forward to that game, actually. I like this game so much, and like the themes of it and all that kind of stuff. It's really cool. Well, we'll get to see if the prison counts as actually crossing the line as well, so. But yeah, basically kill, basically not letting them in only... It this still would count as a win on a survivor difficulty, because you did win. Uh, but do you do you really felt like you won on the inside, you know? Is that, that's, that's how it is. It's morality, man. What, is, what are you gonna do? Yeah, so they added prisons to the flavor text. Because I did I did add that this time. hope we never meet again so yeah and on that note actually with the whole order versus faith thing so apparently order is the thing that won out canon wise because frostpunk 2 is order based so just one of those like little cool things that that that's about the but that's about this game so cer certain actions are canon all right let's load it one last time and we will let it go all the way and we'll see what happens if uh we don't finish the objective in time there's a couple different kinds of endings, particularly with like, uh, if you if you're discontented, you're just effectively, you're effectively ejected from the city, is what happens. So, I'm not gonna bother doing any research; it don't matter. So, like, there's a temperature drop that I was like trying to potentially prepare for, but I didn't really bother with it. So, bloodshed. Captain, the situation is getting out of control. An angry mob is far forming, uh, forming, armed with makeshift weapons. In a few hours, our people will set out to attack the Lord's camps. It will end in a massacre unless we can convince them by securing our city. Damn. No more lords. No more lords. Thanks, Mercy. That that that's not the that's the most ironic name for the person. That's random, by the way. 
<laughs> the person named Mercy is not giving any mercy. All right, let's let's see. We got that's it. We failed to secure our people. We haven't built enough defenses in time. Our people are frightened and angry. They're starting to begin to get out of control. There they go. Uh, Theodore, get him. Agnes, no mercy, no mercy. Death to the lords. Brutal. Probably should have given them makeshift weapons. Uh, dealing with neighbors, no regrets. All this talk about slaughtering the lords is a load of rubbish. Such insinuations should be punished immediately. Our lord's fate is not our concern. What matters for us is that we survive thanks to your determination and hard work. The true source of our pride. There's, we have nothing to apologize for. We did what had to be done. So this still counts as a victory. Which is, which is what I what I thought would happen. It still counts as victory. Because it's like, you know, you didn't... The, the generator wasn't lost or anything, so... So there you go, that's the three, I guess, most mainstream endings that you can possibly do for this. Although, I'm not sure if uh, what happens if you don't do the, uh, like, if the lords don't integrate in society in the first one, because I've never been able to not do that, so. But I'm sure that just makes like, them fight each other or something, I don't know. We fought hard to start anew. But yeah, that's, that's, that's my thorough look at what the different possibilities are for this, but yeah, as long as you get past the first 10 days, then it's it's fairly easy to after that. And it's there's really no way to lose after that. It's just like, those first 10 days are brutal. Absolutely brutal. <laughs> no, not the prisons. Prisons did nothing. We wiped them out, damn. We, it, we could, with this day will be known as the Great Boogaloo of the Lords. Well, there, that's as bad as it can get, so. Pretty, pretty dark, pretty gritty, you know? I, I love it. I love the themes of this. It's so good. Alright. The the great the great Lord Boogaloo has occurred. So yeah, that's 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 basically it. So these are the, the primary three episodes that you got, I think, with the, the retail game of the release. So New Home was, yeah, the survival main story, is what they call it, kind of thing. Arcs is like a... And, and this is how the themes kind of change. So New Home is like... Panic sets in, like, oh shit, <clears throat> you know, new, uh, Winter Home got fucked, you know, what, what do we do, kind of a thing. And then it's surviving the storm and all that. And that was, that's, that's, the, that's, it's just a survival story is what that is. And Arx comes more, becomes more about, like, saving the future, potentially, and also, like, you find another city, and then you're like, oh, is it really, like, should we just drop the people for the greater good, but, you know, then nobody can benefit from these seeds and things like that. And that one's a really that like that one's my favorite one. It's still really good. And Refugees, I, I would say, is like still pretty good. I'm not, I don't know if I like it more or less than New Home. I think it's about the same as New Home for me. I re I still really like it. But that one's that one's like class warfare kind of a thing. So as you kind of saw from what we were doing here. So um, the next one is uh, Winter Home. Ugh. Shit. All right. Not looking forward to that one. See you next week, guys. Peace.